Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, The Dragon Slaying Samurai in the Pirate World. Chapter 31. Boom Boom. The earth cracked and collapsed. A fierce hurricane was raging. Rocks were sputtering, making people unsteady on their feet. What? Capone Beige, who didn't even react to the attack by Porosalino, the admiral of headquarters, changed his face drastically. The whole person was severely blown away by the airwave generated by the collision. Looking at the two figures fighting in the field with horror, he couldn't help but break into a cold sweat. Is this the strength of Admiral of Headquarters? It was too fast and I couldn't react at all. Sparkling fruit, a good ability. Ryoma looked calm. Just holding the unsheathed autumn water surrounding armament hockey in his left hand, he easily blocked Porosalino's extremely fierce light speed kick. With sharp eyes like a falcon, he looked at Porosalino in front of him and said with a smile but unfortunately, the strength is a bit lacking, just so-so. How dare you say that? Porosalino's eyes narrowed sharply, his expression solemn. He actually blocked his light speed kick so easily, he is indeed an incredible guy. Kanglanglang. With a sharp look, Ryoma directly grasped Chu Shui's knife handle with his right hand, and his momentum suddenly changed. It seemed to turn into a peerless sharp blade unsheathed in an instant, sharp and fierce, as if nothing could stop it, full of strength, so, as a Logia user, have you ever experienced an unavoidable slash? The faint blue light is extremely dazzling. What? Kazaru couldn't help but shrink his pupils. The hair on the hair stood up inexplicably. In the flash of lightning, it turned into golden light without hesitation and retreated violently. Kamikiri, the autumn god, in its second form suddenly slashed out. Kai, the extremely blazing light blue slash directly lit up the sky. Carrying fluctuations that were difficult to discern with the naked eye, it cut through the atmosphere. With lightning speed, it shot straight over. Boom, the light blue light was dazzling. In Capone Bedge's shocking gaze, the violent slash struck straight against the golden light. The extremely green and endless forest ahead. In the blink of an eye, he was swept away by that huge slash. As far as the eye can see, all the green shades and towering trees with lush foliage are divided into two. Every giant tree has extremely smooth cuts. It was an indescribable shock that made people break out in cold sweat. Brush, brilliant golden light gathered, Porosalino's figure reappears. It was already 10 meters away in front of Ryoma. Whoosh, whoosh, in the blink of an eye, a loud roar broke through the air. Several laser beams shot out like lightning. However, the dragon and horse swayed slightly like they were walking in a leisurely manner, and they avoided it directly. Boom boom, the blazing laser beams continued unabated, blasting into the forest behind them one after another. A large area was instantly vaporized by the terrifying high temperature, and an astonishing explosion occurred. A rolling heat wave swept over me. The laser beam, which was no more than the size of a thumb, exploded when it hit the ground. It was a bit exaggerated. Is this the combat power of Marine Admiral? An out-and-out -out monster. Trafalgar Law, Hawkins, Hai Ming Apu, Rob Lucci and others who were watching the battle inside Capone Beige couldn't help but break into a cold sweat. It's a little chilly, but this moment, the previous relaxed and casual look on Porosalino's face had long since been replaced by an unprecedented solemn look. And, on the right cheek, a clearly visible trace of blood appeared there at some point. I have never heard of such a person in the sea with such attainments in swordsmanship. Porosalino stared at the dragon horse in front of him, whose aura was as terrifying as a sword, making it impossible to despise him. If he had been careless before, he would have been seriously injured even if he didn't die. And, is that sword the legendary supreme sharp sword Chu Shen? Putting his hands together, the light shines brightly, Tian Kong Yun sword. A dazzling lightsaber condensed out. In an instant, he rushed forward. The blazing lightsaber struck fiercely. Kang. Chang. Sparks sputter. The shocking collision caused the earth to collapse. The fierce wind pressure is like ripples, washing away layer by layer. Capone Beige, who was watching from a distance, couldn't get closer and felt a little numb on his scalp. Is that all you have? Ryoma scoffed. In order to prevent this slippery monkey from escaping, he did not use all his strength directly. Even observation hockey, who can foresee the future, is not used. In an understatement, the blade in his hand couldn't stop chopping and slashing. 
The swift and simple sword power is dazzling, and the moves are extremely dangerous, full of strength and dominance. He kept colliding with Porosalino who was holding the Amankongian sword. In the blink of an eye, the two had exchanged dozens or hundreds of blows. You are so arrogant, Porosalino was unmoved. The figure flashed and flew into the air. His right leg shone with a dazzling golden light, and he kicked down hard. Wah! A blazing laser beam the size of a fist shot out like lightning. But as the two of them fought, I felt a little frightened in my heart, shocked by the strength displayed by Ryoma. It is impossible for such a person to be unknown in the sea. Boom! The blue blade flicked. It hit the huge laser beam accurately. Just let it fall apart. There are no rules, and it splashes wildly in all directions. Rumble. A large area of the ground was blasted into disarray. Smoke and dust filled the air. Eight-foot beautiful Magatama. Porosalino's figure was stuck in midair. Between the crossed hands, the light is dazzling. A mirror of light that is so dazzling that no one can look directly is condensed. The next moment. Whoosh whoosh. Densely packed light bombs poured in like a violent storm. Hey, hey, it's a little dazzling. Ryoma squinted his eyes, his expression unchanged. Holding Autumn God in his hand, he waved it in the air. Kai, an extremely sharp and huge slash appeared out of thin air. It tears the atmosphere and carries the flowing armament hockey, which is extremely thick. The light bullets pouring towards that densely. It was crushed straight over. Boom boom, whoosh whoosh, the extremely dazzling light bombs came like a violent storm. Boom, but in the blink of an eye, a light blue slash that was hundreds of meters long, carrying the indestructible armament hockey, was thick and sharp, and directly dispersed the group of light bombs that came from the attack. It's shocking. Holding the God of Autumn in his hand, Ryoma's eyes were sharp and focused. The momentum changed again, rising at an astonishing speed, like a mountain that was insurmountable. The faint blue blade was swung diagonally. His sharp eyes, as sharp as a falcon, locked onto Porosalino's chi machine. It seemed to be extremely slow, but in fact it was as fast as thunder, and it swung towards Kazaru, whose hair was standing on end. Flying Dragon, Kai, in an instant, an extremely sharp light blue slash blocked the light, making it impossible for people to look directly at it. In an instant, it transformed into a lifelike blue dragon with fangs and claws, roaring towards Porosalino as if it had real life. As fast as lightning, there is no way to avoid it. Looking at the extremely ferocious blue flying dragon, Porosalino's pupils suddenly dilated. Yada mirror. Buzz, buzz, hands to each other. Dazzling brilliance bloomed. Eye opening. Between the electric light and flint, a clearly visible trace of light swept out. The eye catching figure appeared directly dozens of meters away. The sky was split open. The thick clouds were cut open. It was indescribably shocking, but Ryoma didn't give Porosalino any chance to breathe. Ultimate's observation hockey, like a prophet, once again locked the location where Porosalino appeared. This is the truly unavoidable slash. The blue blade waved boldly. Time and space seemed to be frozen. Kai, the extremely blazing light blue slash, wielded by the extremely terrifying hockey, came in with a brutal killing blow. Traversed an incredible trajectory. It struck directly at the golden light and shadow that just flashed out. A string of miserable blood flowers splashed up. The dazzling figure retreated in embarrassment, narrowly avoiding a fatal knife blow. It's really dangerous. Holding his bloody shoulder, Porosalino broke into a cold sweat. His face was extremely serious, his eyes were solemn, and he stared at Ryoma's majestic face, such swordsmanship is even inferior to Mahawk. Who are you? He wasn't very clear about Hawkeye's true strength. But it was impossible to hurt him in such a short period of time. At least, Porosalino knew very well that he had not been careless just now. My name is Shimotsuki Ryoma. Ryoma stood with his sword in hand and looked at Kazaru proudly, I think you should have heard of it. What? Hearing this, Porosalino's pupils shrank sharply, his face full of astonishment. At this time, at some point, he arrived at Capone Beige, who was on the right side of Kazaru. A little door opens. A mini figure rushed out. It grew huge at a speed visible to the naked eye. It was Pluton Rayleigh who had been preparing for a long time and had accumulated power for a long time. Kai, the extremely dazzling slash struck hard at Porosalino, 
who was looking at Ryoma in disbelief and was a little speechless and distracted. It made his hair stand on end. Kang, the whole person responded hastily and blocked with dangerous swords. He was severely shaken back by the extremely heavy slash. But Marine Admiral is Marine Admiral after all. In an instant, Porosalino turned into a stream of light and flew high into the sky. But at this moment, this scene had been predicted, and the dragon and horse that were ready to go suddenly moved. The figure is like a ghost, and it is out of reach. It flew directly into the sky. In an instant, his eyes suddenly froze. Buzz, an extremely violent conqueror's hockey. The mighty force swept forward and crushed Porosalino hard. Full of strength and domineering, unstoppable mental fluctuations hit him, directly making him in an inexplicable trance, and his body suddenly stiffened. The victory is decided. The corners of Ryoma's mouth rose. Heavy sea stone handcuffs suddenly appeared on his hands. The next moment, it was already directly on the wrist of Porosalino, who recovered instantly, his face changed drastically, but it was too late to dodge. Dazzling. If it had been anyone else, or even Pluton Rayleigh, with Porosalino's nerve reaction speed, he might not have been able to avoid it. However, even if it is just an undetectable gap in that moment, for a real monster like Ryoma who is terrifyingly fast and unreasonable, it is enough to decide the outcome. What? Seastone. The golden light completely disappeared. His figure suddenly softened, and Porosalino's expression turned ugly. But the next moment, an unimaginable severe pain shot through his entire abdomen. He was hit hard by Ryoma with the back of his knife. Wow, the old monkey-like face was twisted and he vomited blood. It hit the ground like a cannonball. Boom, dust is flying. The ground collapsed and cracked like a spider web. Ahem, I was careless. Porosalino's face was covered in blood and full of regret. He had thought that the opponent might have a very tricky devil fruit ability, so he had been secretly on guard. But no one expected that Ryoma's conqueror's hockey was so powerful that it could interfere with his own will at critical moments and expose its flaws. Pluton Rayleigh, Porosalino, who was weak, was bleeding from his mouth. Eyes fixed on Pluton Rayleigh. If this guy hadn't taken action, he would have been in chaos. With the extreme speed brought by his own Logia sparkling fruit. Even though Ryoma can hurt him, he may not be able to find a chance to use the sea stone to capture him alive. Sorry, Kazaru. Pluton Rayleigh came over. With his hair and beard all white and old, he looked at Kazaru covered in blood and lying in a huge pit. He was filled with sighs, but he was not ashamed at all. Although the victory is not strong, you are marine after all, and I am just a human. Where are the pirates? Even if he keeps claiming to be retired, are he still a pirate that is rotten to the core? Porosalino sarcastically said. If you, Marine, are willing to revoke my wanted order, then I can retire peacefully. Pluton Rayleigh said with a smile, besides, Ace's life has just begun, he can't just wither away like this. Ahem, I didn't expect that there is a strong person like you in the sea. I admit defeat. Pay no more attention to Pluton Rayleigh. Kazaru, who was lying there, stared at the majestic Ryoma standing with a sword in his hand. With unspeakable fear in his eyes, he spoke in disbelief, are you really the former dragon-slaying warrior? Although it was just a brief confrontation, he had already deeply felt the terror of this man. With such a powerful enemy suddenly appearing, the next public execution of, Fire Fist, Ace, the captain of the Whitebeard Pirates Second Division, by naval headquarters will be even more unpredictable. Replace it if it's fake. The autumn god in the hand vibrated and changed at a speed visible to the naked eye. It turned into a black sword and fell into the water, and was sheathed directly. Ryoma responded calmly. Hiss. A monster from hundreds of years ago. Take a deep breath. Porosalino looked at Ryoma in disbelief. He believed what the other party said, because it was now the time and there was really no need for this man to deceive him by pretending to be a dead person from hundreds of years ago. No wonder, the supreme sharp sword Autumn God, which had disappeared for hundreds of years and attracted countless explorers to search everywhere, would suddenly appear on the sea. Thanks to your world government, I have been sleeping for so long. Ryoma's eyes were dark and he said calmly, Next, I will thank them properly. Although it doesn't seem to contain any emotion. But instead it made people feel an inexplicable chill and made their scalp numb. Grown-ups, Capone Beige ran over. Looking at the embarrassed appearance of the Admiral of Headquarters, Kazaru, 
who was chained with sea stone handcuffs and severely injured, I couldn't help but be filled with awe of Ryoma. Even more uncontrollably excited, Admiral of the Naval Headquarters was captured alive. He could imagine what kind of storm would be set off on the sea next. Following such a powerful man with terrifying strength, the sea was turned upside down. It's really exciting. You did well. Ryoma nodded to Capone Beige. He wasn't worried about what tricks these restless supernovae would play. At least even if Capone Beige is given the courage now, I believe this guy would not dare to betray directly. He looked at Porosalino, who was lying there covered in blood. If he just cuffs his hands, it might be possible for him to find a chance to escape. After all, he is an admiral of the naval headquarters. He may have the courage to cut off his wrists, like the flying pirate, Golden Lion Shiki who cut off his legs and escaped from the deep sea prison 20 years ago. However, he will not give the other party such a chance. He squatted down directly and put one hand on Porosalino's head. This scene made Rob Lucci, who was watching through the window on Capone Bege's chest, shrink his pupils. He remembered clearly that Ryoma, who had just woken up, had done similar things to him. How can a person who has just woken up after sleeping for hundreds of years know so well the experiences of himself and others, as well as the situation of the times hundreds of years from now? As an elite of the secret cipher PulseCP9 under the world government, he once had access to many secret intelligence files. It seems that the Red Earl, Baroric Redfield, who was once famous on the sea and was able to keep pace with the three pirate kings Roger, Golden Lion Shiki and Whitebeard, was born with the awakening of observation hockey. Not only can you listen to other people's voices, but you can also explore other people's memories. Could it be that this gentleman also has the ability to exaggerate? Um, Pluton Rayleigh's eyes narrowed. Ryoma's approach felt inexplicably familiar. Pluton Rayleigh, who had dealt with the Red Earl before and knew how exaggerated his observation hockey was, guessed what it was at the first opportunity. Porosalino, who was bleeding from the mouth and feeling a little weak, felt that the secret of his body was revealed in front of Ryoma without any reservation at this moment, and he felt inexplicably uneasy. He was a little confused at first and thought of something. His face suddenly changed, and he looked at Ryoma in shock, and said in disbelief, you guys are like that guy from Redfield. Observation hockey can check other people's memories. As the Admiral of Naval Headquarters, he has too many secrets. Once everyone knows about it, it will be a huge threat to the world government and the naval headquarters, and there may be immeasurable losses. What? Search other people's memories. Gulu, can you do such an exaggerated thing? Capone Beige, Hawkins, Trafalgar Law and others cried out when they heard this. Everyone was shocked, some couldn't believe it. Especially Blackbeard, whose expression changed drastically. Because Ryoma had done this to him before. In this way, the secret within myself. Thinking of this, he couldn't help but sweat dripping all over his body and feel a little chilly. He looked in awe at Ryoma, who placed one hand on Marine Admiral Kazaru's head and closed his eyes, sensing something. As expected, after a moment, Ryoma withdrew his right hand. He opened his slightly closed eyes and sneered, I see, have you already evacuated there? He remembered it very clearly. Porosalino had been stationed in the Marine Science Corps for a long time and served as a guard there. Dr. Vegapunk, a genius scientist who surpasses human wisdom for 500 years. He accepted it unceremoniously. Originally, he was thinking about getting two pacifists to study, but it was obviously no longer necessary. What are you going to do next? Pluton Rayleigh asked. He felt that if he could continue to join forces with the other party, his chances of breaking into the deep sea prison and rescuing Ace would be greatly improved. This is not what you should ask. The cooperation between us has ended. Naval headquarters has lost one of its top combatants. I believe it is a good thing for you. Ryoma said with a smile. He looked directly at Bartholomew Bear, who emerged from Bege's body. What direct benefits will it bring to him to cooperate with Pluton Rayleigh and others to rescue, fire fist, Ace? Bear, you guy. Porosalino's pupils shrank sharply, and he was a little frightened and angry. This seven warlords of the sea, who is supposed to be in the world government camp, actually colludes with Ryoma, Pluton Rayleigh and the others. Bring him in, Ryoma ordered directly to Capone Beige. Yes, Lord Ryoma, outside Capone Beige's body, there is a spherical barrier appearing. 
he directly enveloped the unable to move Porosalino, sent him into the castle inside his body, and ordered him to be imprisoned. Next, I'll help you. Ryoma looked directly at Bartholomew Bear. There is no rush yet regarding the marine science unit. At the moment, he wanted to go to Amazon Lily to confirm another thing. Bartholomew Shang, who was holding a Bible in his left hand and taking off his right glove, revealing a bear-like palm, asked quietly, aren't you afraid that I will send you to naval headquarters or the Holy Land Mariajoy? Ryoma asked directly, do you think my observation hockey is just a decoration? Quote dot 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 quote. Bartholomew Bear nodded. Indeed, with Ryoma's observation hockey, if he is close to the Holy Land Mariajoy or naval headquarters, or even in the wrong direction, he might be able to detect it. It is completely possible to easily break the shockwave directly from the inside, disabling his ability. Even if such a strong man fell directly into the sea, he would probably be fine. He had witnessed before that Ryoma could grab the sea stone chain without any scruples, so he was obviously not a person with abilities. Then let's get started. Brush. Ryoma entered Capone Bege's body directly. I have to say, this guy is indeed very tasteful, the interior is very luxurious and has everything you need. And the castle is incredibly spacious. If a large number of troops are stationed inside, it is completely equivalent to a human-shaped fortress. Then, goodbye. Through the, huge, landscape window, Pluton Rayleigh, who was a little disappointed that Ryoma was unwilling to save, Fire Fist, Ace, nodded slightly, and Ryoma looked at Bartholomew Bear outside. Bartholomew Bear said nothing more. He slapped Capone Beige with his palm. Boom. In an instant, Capone Beige disappeared on the Sabayati archipelago. So, do you want to confirm? Bartholomew Bear looked at Pluton Rayleigh. He was talking about the straw hat pirates who were sent away by him. Of course that's perfect. That guy Shanks often mentions Brother Luffy to me. I've long wanted to meet him in person. Pluton Rayleigh said with a smile. I picked up the straw hat that fell in the forest and luckily escaped being damaged by the previous battle. Looking at this familiar straw hat, his eyes were full of nostalgia. In a daze, he seemed to see that wild and tall figure. There was a faint flash of tears in his eyes. His fists were clenched slightly, his eyes showing determination. Roger, my brother, don't worry, I will do my best to rescue Ace. Comma, brush, unknown heights in the sky. A huge bear paw-shaped shock wave wrapped around Capone Bege's short and fat body, speeding towards the calm belt at an incredible speed. And in the castle of Capone Bege, in the gorgeous hall. Wayahaha, Ryoma-sama, it's done. At first he wanted to remain reserved, but in the blink of an eye buggy, who was conscious of being a loser, laughed. Three devil fruits of different shapes and full of strange power were delivered to Ryoma. Rob Lucci, Trafalgar Law, Jewelry Bonnie, Hawkins, Hyaming Apu, Munker Rouge and others are all gathered here. But at this moment, everyone felt chilly. Looking at the center of the hall in disbelief, Blackbeard was covered in strange black smoke and his hands were stained with bloodline. There were also three people, Drake, Eustace Kid, and Porosalino, who were tied there and had long since lost their breath of life. He even looked at the three devil fruits that were delivered to Ryoma in disbelief somewhat chilling and scary. Scalp numbness, unless you see it with your own eyes. They couldn't believe it. There are people who can take away other people's devil fruit abilities. I am even more fortunate that I and others made the wise choice to seek refuge. Otherwise, I am afraid that I will end up like Eustace Kid, 10th Drake, Marine Admiral Kazaru and others. Death is nothing, but even the devil fruit ability is taken away by the enemy who kills him, making others happy. That would be so sad. One is a tough guy with conqueror's qualifications who would rather die than surrender. One is an undercover agent sent by naval headquarters, pretending to be a traitor, trying to break into the four emperors, the other is the dignified admiral of naval headquarters. HMPH, you can actually contribute three good devil fruit abilities to me. Three devil fruits were placed there. Ryoma directly grabbed the golden logia fruit in the middle with protruding spiral patterns and played with it. This one is Logia Sparkling Fruit from Porosalino. The other two are the Paramecia Magnetic Fruit taken from Eustace Kid, and the Zone Ancient Species Dragon Fruit Allosaurus Form Fruit from Drake. Let Buggies, Van Oka and other people who don't have Devil Fruit abilities have their eyes blazing. But it is naturally clear that Ryoma cannot give them such Devil Fruit, 
especially when they have just been forced to surrender by its power and have not yet shown enough loyalty. Your performance just now was pretty good. He looked at everyone present. His eyes rested on Rob Lucci, the former CP9 agent. The fate of CP9 and his group has changed a lot from what he remembered. Except for the fact that Rob Lucci is an esper in the form of the ancient species, cat fruit, and ancient leopard, and Jabra is an esper in the form of zone, the dog fruit, and the jackal. Neither Kaku nor Khalifa are espers yet. This devil fruit is for you. Ryoma directly threw the ancient species, dragon dragon fruit, and Allosaurus form devil fruit to Kaku, who was not yet an esper. He took the fruit planted in ancient times in a daze. Kaku was overjoyed and hurriedly knelt down on one knee to thank him. Thank you, Ryoma Sama. Kama. And this time, on the Sabayati archipelago. A large number of marines surrounded Peninsula 45. There are also a few others who have the same appearance as Bartholomew Bear, all with expressionless faces, but there is no tall figure holding a Bible. Tell me, what exactly happened here? Zan Momomaru grabbed a pirate with a bruised nose and face and asked angrily through gritted teeth. When you come here, except for those useless pirates who can be eliminated in a few or two. No criminals to be seen. Moreover, even Kazaru is missing and cannot be contacted at all. Bulu, Bolo, the phone bug on Zan Tawan's body rang rapidly. Moses Moses, I am Zan Momoan. Zan Momoan answered the call before he could finish his sentence. Zan Momomaru, this is Marine Marshal Sengoku. The anxious and angry voice of Marine Marshal Sengoku came from the phone bug, what happened on the Sabayati archipelago? Why did Porosalino will his life card suddenly be burned directly to ashes? Sengoku couldn't help but become furious. The highest combat power of naval headquarters was sacrificed. This is simply a huge thing and has a profound impact on the situation in the sea. Not to mention, it is still a special period when Fire Fist Ace is about to be publicly executed and an all-out war with the Whitebeard Pirates is likely to begin. The sudden loss of such combat power is enough to drastically change Marine's supposedly unshakable absolute advantage, and even deal a huge blow to one's own morale. You know, based on Portga's D Ace's unusual life experience. Marine is likely to face not only the Whitebeard Pirates, but also the Red Hair Pirates, one of the New World Four Emperors, and maybe even the Roger Pirates, which has been secretly disbanded and has disappeared for many years. He had personally confirmed that it was indeed Kazaru's life card. And there is no such thing as a mix-up or a mistake. Kazaru, who was supposed to have a phone bug with him, was indeed unable to contact him. I'm afraid it's really going to be a disaster. What happened? That was why a usually cautious and tactful man like Porosalino was unable to even escape and was directly killed. Even Whitebeard in his prime couldn't kill the Admiral of Naval Headquarters in such a short period of time, right? What, Marshal Sengoku, are you kidding? The old man's life card was burnt to ashes. How is this possible? Hearing this, Zan Tawan's expression changed drastically. My eyes widened, I couldn't believe my ears, it was like I heard a big joke. How could something happen to Kazaru, the majestic admiral of naval headquarters, Kazaru who has the ability of Logia sparkling fruit and is second to none in speed on the sea? Moreover, in such a short period of time, the life card was directly burned to ashes. What, Kazaru admiral is dead? Hey, are you kidding me? How is this possible? He is the most powerful person in our naval headquarters. No, I'm going to ask Marshal Sengoku, admiral of headquarters Kazaru's death. Like a bombshell, it exploded at Naval Headquarters Marineford. It caused huge shock and panic. After repeatedly weighing the pros and cons, Sengoku had no intention of ordering a concealment. There is no way to hide something like this. In particular, there was no turning back. After losing an admiral of the Naval Headquarters, the public execution of Fire Fist Ace was even more imperative. The prestige of the world government and the Naval Headquarters could not be further damaged. Otherwise, the sea situation will become even worse. A large number of marines gathered in front of the naval headquarters building, eager to confirm the situation. Kama, Sabayati Archipelago, Peninsula 45. Crane Vice Admiral and Marine Hero Garp rushed to the scene from naval headquarters. What's going on? Suru Vice Admiral, Mr. Garp. Zan Momomaru, who was sweating profusely, was full of anxiety and hurriedly asked Suru Vice Admiral and Garp, how could something happen to the old man? 
He is not Logia sparkling a person with fruit abilities. He couldn't believe that something happened to Kazaru, who could not be said to be invincible in his own mind, but possessed the light speed movement given by the sparkling fruit, even the four emperors could not keep him. The situation is still unclear. Have you caught any witnesses? Looking at the messy and shocking traces of the battle around him, Crane Vice Admiral said in a deep voice to Zan Momomaru, I want to interrogate him personally. The former world's most powerful sword, Chu Shen. Looking at the rows of tree trunks that had been directly cut off and the cuts were extremely smooth, Garp's face was full of solemnity, it seems that those who fought against Porosalino were at least a swordsman who was no less powerful than Hawkeye. Quote, Yes, many residents, pirates, and even marine personnel staying at marine base said they saw the sky being cut open. At this time, several figures in suits and leather shoes, wearing large cloaks and masks, whose faces could not be seen clearly, came over. CP0. Crane Vice Admiral and Vice Admiral Garp could not help but have their pupils shrink sharply and their complexions slightly change. The Cipher Pull series is a secret cipher pull directly under the world government. It is well known to the outside world that there are CP1, CP8, and there is also CP9, which is hidden in the dark and has legal killing authority. CP0, on the other hand, is the highest secret cipher pulled directly under the world government, and is the highest level organization of CP1, CP9. The full name of the organization is Cipher Pull Igus 0. They do not take orders from the world government, but are officials directly affiliated with the world nobles, celestial dragons. However, considering that the world's noble family, the Saint Roswald, was brutally murdered, it is not surprising that these loyal dogs of the celestial dragons appear. The tall figure wearing a white ghost face mask handed several sets of photos to Garp, he vice admiral and others. Moreover, we have basically investigated clearly that the murderer of the world's nobles was headed by Rob Lucci, who had already betrayed the members of CP9 who were killed by the world government and were ordered to be eliminated by the top management. Above, there are photos of Rob Lucci and others. Garp and Vice Admiral he exchanged glances at the photos given to them by the CP0 agent, and their eyes coincided with the last one. It was a majestic and awe-inspiring silver-white figure. Even through the photo, you can feel the aura of the other person that seems to be radiating from the bones, which is not to be underestimated. This is a photo previously taken by our intelligence officers. After interrogating witnesses, his identity has been basically confirmed. Pointing to the silver figure in the photo, the CP0 senior agent headed by him said in a deep voice, and no surprise, Rob Lucci and others have been subdued by this person. He is the real culprit who killed the world's nobles and Admiral Kazaru. Surprisingly young, Garp was surprised. At this age, he is only in his 20s at best, right? It's really amazing to have such monster-like strength. Such clothing seems to be from Wanokuni. I have never heard of such a person in the sea. Is he a strong man who came from that country of warriors? Suru Vice Admiral stared at the figure in the photo, frowned and asked, who is he? Someone at the scene heard Rob Lucci and the others calling him, Lord Ryoma. The CPO senior agent who couldn't see his face clearly didn't hide anything and said it bluntly. The tone was a bit strange, but it also revealed indescribable fear and solemnity. What? Garp and Suru Vice Admiral couldn't help but be surprised when they heard this. Ryoma, isn't that the name of the world's greatest swordsman and dragon-slaying warrior who forged the supreme sword Akagami hundreds of years ago? Is it just the same name? If he came from the closed country of Wanokuni, could he be a descendant of Ryoma? Crane Vice Admiral frowned, full of surprise. It stands to reason that the bones of characters from hundreds of years ago may have been turned into fly ash, so they cannot be resurrected, right? We also hope that he just has the same name. The voice of the CP0 senior agent led by the leader was full of solemnity and said in a deep voice, but another news just came from Maria Joy, but we have to doubt that he is probably hundreds of years old. The world's greatest swordsman in front of me, dragon-slaying samurai, Shimotsuki Ryoma. What news? Garp raised his eyebrows and asked directly. A few days ago, in the waters where the Storoberry Vice Admiral of Naval Headquarters had an accident, Gecko Moria's terrifying ship was discovered. Unfortunately, that guy Moria sneaked into Wanokuni and stole the corpse of the dragon-slaying warrior Ryoma and Wanokuni's national treasure. Black Blade Chushui is the culprit. According to the report of Bartholomew Bear, 
who happened to be heading to the Devil's Triangle Sea area to Gecko Moria to convey the forced summoning order of the seven warlords of the sea issued by the world government to the five elders, who used his Paramecia Shadow Fruit the ability to turn Ryoma, whose corpse has not rotted hundreds of years ago, into a zombie and resurrect him, but the zombie lost control and almost killed Moria herself. However, after Moria lost consciousness and fell into a coma, the shadow had left, Ryoma was silent, and Bartholomew Bear was not paying attention at that time. Although it is a bit incredible, in this world, Devil Fruit's ability is beyond human intelligence after all. Yes, I'm afraid this guy might have been, awakened. Moreover, some witnesses claimed that the black sword Chu Shui was the supreme sharp knife Chu Shen. They once saw it change with their own eyes, revealing the true form of Chu God which could make Chu Shen silent for hundreds of years. The only thing that has changed in Shisui is Shimotsuki Ryoma as its master. The CPO senior agent wearing a white ghost face mask concluded with fear. Only the former dragon-slaying warrior could kill Admiral Kazaru of naval headquarters in such a short period of time, because he once died and he has more than one marine admiral in his hands. Crane Vice Admiral, Hiro Garp and others. His heart was pounding and his expression changed drastically. He looked at this senior CPO agent in disbelief. Ever killed a marine admiral? Why have I never heard of it? Crane Vice Admiral asked in surprise. She once read the life of Shimotsuki Ryoma the former world's greatest swordsman, dragon-slaying samurai, in the world government library. She remembered clearly that there was no relevant introduction to this aspect in that book. But this time, CP0's senior agents did not respond directly and remained silent. His thoughts were whirling, and Crane Vice Admiral suddenly understood. Over the years, any disgraceful deeds that undermine the prestige of world government will be covered up, whitewashed, and downplayed. The highest combat power of the dignified naval headquarters is usually boasted and praised, almost, invincible. Suddenly, the Marine Admiral, who represented the highest combat power of Marine, was killed, and there were more than one person. Naturally, the world government and naval headquarters will try their best to cover up such a scandal. Naturally, it was erased and hidden from Marine's history. The top of the red line. Holy Land Mariajoy. Inside the majestic and mist-shrouded Pengu City. It is spotless, magnificent and has a western church style, between the powers. The five people who control the highest power in the world government, the five elders, are sitting on the sofa, their faces gloomy and a little ugly. They have received a report from CP0 who went to Sabayati Archipelago to investigate the murder of the world's nobles. Now we're in trouble. The five elders with white beard frowned. I didn't expect that guy to actually be resurrected. That idiot Moria actually awakened such a monster. The five elders, wearing a flat hat and leaning on a cane, had cold murderous intent in their eyes. But it's really unbelievable why Shimotsuki Ryoma, who has been dead for hundreds of years, came back to life. The blonde five elders are full of surprises. Even a corpse. No matter what, the blatant killing of celestial dragons cannot be ignored. The bald old man wearing glasses said coldly, back then, if the world government could kill him once, it could kill him a second time. Buster call on him, will it work, knocking on the coffee table in front of him, five elders with a big mustache snorted angrily, don't forget, the only surviving admiral of naval headquarters returned home seriously injured, but died within three months. Currently, there is no one with the ability to curse the fruit in the world government, Back then, a fleet of more than 20 top-level battleships failed to launch a buster call against Ryoma who dared to kill the world's nobles, and was directly destroyed on the sea. Facing the dragon-slaying samurai who can easily split mountains and seas with just a swipe of his sword, even if Marine gathers tens of thousands of elites to encircle and suppress them, there is no point at all. Even if it can deplete his physical strength a little, he cannot bear such immeasurable losses. Besides the real monster, who else is qualified to be its opponent? Not to mention, even Porosalino, a person with Logia sparkling fruit and a cautious and smooth personality, was easily defeated by him, which shows his terrifying strength. And the current situation does not allow us to be distracted anymore. The blonde five elders said in a deep voice, as for Marine, we cannot allocate so much combat power for the time being. His words were filled with fear. In the past, the world's greatest swordsman was recognized by Dahai, and his illustrious reputation was not just talk. In that era, 
there were all famous swordsmen and even powerful men with great reputations on the sea. Either he has challenged Ryoma, or he has been challenged by his opponent, but he was easily defeated in the shortest possible time. Regardless of whether he is convinced or not, he has to be recognized as the world's greatest swordsman. Shimotsuki Ryoma, you have been dead for hundreds of years and you still want to take revenge on the world government. The Whitebeard Five Elders rubbed their brows with cold eyes. Such a lawless and unscrupulous guy must not be allowed to continue, otherwise he will definitely become a serious problem for the world government. In any case, the killing of the world nobles and the admiral of the naval headquarters has had a great impact on the situation in the sea and has seriously damaged the prestige of the world government. At this time, we cannot cancel the public execution of Fire Fist, Ace. The world government must re-establish its prestige in order to deter those restless guys, and the Whitebeard Pirates are undoubtedly the best target. After the public execution of Fire Fist Ace is over, we can concentrate Marine's efforts to solve this big trouble in one fell swoop. But we must also be prepared for this guy to suddenly intervene in this war. Be fully prepared and make sure that the public execution of Fire Fist Ace is foolproof. Five Elders, you speak to me. Having jointly held the highest authority in the world government for many years, they have already developed a tacit understanding. The opinions were quickly unified and a decision was made. Comma. The first half of the Grand Line is adjacent to East Blue's Calm Belt. There is an island called, Nine Snakes, which is a daughter island where only women live. A female fighting nation called the, Nine Snakes, live here, and the country is built on the high Yamanaka covered by jungle. The women on this island were born to be warriors. They shouldered all the family income and labor on their shoulders. What is incredible is that even after becoming pregnant, they only gave birth to girls. The most surprising thing is that the female warriors in this country all have powers like hockey. There are huge sea kings in the calm belt. There is no wind in this area, so ordinary ships cannot enter the nearby sea areas. It is equivalent to a natural barrier protecting this country. Kuja Pirates. It is a pirate group that selects elite warriors from Daughter's Island and is led by the emperor of this country himself. He often went on expeditions and plundered, bringing back the resources necessary for the people's livelihood. A three-day and three-night flight. The huge bear paw, carrying Capone Beige, flew deep into the calm belt. Boom. The loud noise shook the sky and filled with smoke and dust. In the dense forest, a huge bear paw-shaped pit is clearly visible. Capone Beige climbed up in embarrassment, looking around with incredible eyes. Is this the legendary Amazon lily located deep in the calm belt? If he hadn't experienced it himself, he would never have believed that he had been flying high in the sky for three days and three nights. Beige is inside the castle, inside the gorgeous hall. Wayahaha, I heard that Amazon lily is a country with only women. Hey, whether they are soldiers or doctors, they are all women, the dream place of countless men. As the Empress, Boa Hancock in Seven Warlords of the Sea, the rumored most beautiful woman in the world, on this island. Buggy C, Jabra, Haiming Apu and others all couldn't help but have their eyes shining. I was a little excited and wanted to rush out immediately. But the next moment, an inexplicable chill came over him, and he subconsciously looked up at the main seat in the hall. A pair of extremely cold eyes stared at them faintly. The oncoming pressure made people tremble uncontrollably, as if they were suffocating and unable to breathe. His face turned pale and he was dripping with cold sweat. Lafitte, Rob Lucci, Hawkins, Van Oka, Kaku and others also looked at them with pity. Long, Lord Ryoma, I'm joking, don't mind. Buggy and Jabra were stared at with chills, scalp numbness, and uneasiness. His face turned pale with fright, he was sweating profusely, and he responded quickly. Snort, Ryoma snorted coldly, and his majestic figure stood up. He said coldly, if you don't have an order from me, just stay in Beja's body peacefully. If you dare to cause trouble, you can try it. As soon as he finished speaking, his figure flashed. A huge, landscape window, was directly opened. A translucent barrier appeared around Bej. As soon as it flew out, the tiny silver-white figure changed instantly and returned to its original state. It seems like a lot has changed here. Scanning the lush green forest full of tranquility. In front of the observation hockey with an exaggerated scope, every plant and tree on the entire Nine Snakes Island was reflected in his mind. Ryoma, 
with a complex expression, showed emotion, and there seemed to be some reminiscence in his eyes. As the godfather of a mafia family in West Blue, Capone Beige is undoubtedly a very smart person, good at observing people's emotions, so naturally he did not interrupt and quietly followed this adult. Don't dare to disturb this, monster, who has lived for hundreds of years. Roar, the beast's roar was deafening. A ferocious leopard burst out of the dense bush without any warning. The ferocious teeth are about to bite the dragon and horse. But Ryoma was just a casual glance. The next moment, it froze there. Sweating in cold sweat, shivering. He growled in panic. As if he had seen some terrifying wild beast, he fled into the depths of the forest in a panic. Is it the instinct of the beast? Capone Beige thought to himself as he watched the cheetah fleeing in panic and then looked at the awe-inspiring figure in front of him. Follow me, remember, no plants or trees on the island are harmed without my orders. Ryoma glanced at him and spoke calmly. Walk straight towards the gate of Nine Snakes Island. Outside the shady forest, a huge portal stands in front. Going inside, there is a bustling and bustling town. The citizens of the Nine Snakes fighting nation all live in the city. And in the inner harbor not far away, there is a red ship docked, which is gorgeous yet elegant and has an ancient style. A pirate ship pulled by two giant venomous sea snakes. Above, the flag belonging to the Nine Snakes pirates fluttered in the wind. Although the ship has changed, the style of the flag remains the same, unchanged. Looking at the pirate flag surrounded by nine snake heads, Ryoma smiled. Back then, when he was traveling in the first half of the Grand Line, he just met the nine snakes pirates. It was also this flag that hung on the pirate ship. Unexpectedly, hundreds of years had passed and it still remained unchanged. Who, soon, the patrolling guards discovered Ryoma and Capone Beige, whose clothing styles were completely different from those of the nationals. They were extremely conspicuous. A group of female warriors with fierce auras and different body shapes immediately raised their bows and arrows, aiming at Ryoma and Capone Beige who had just walked out of the forest and arrived outside the gate, with evil eyes. Among these guards, there was no man at all. They are all female warriors, extremely tough, powerful and murderous. A man from the open sea, looking at Ryoma and Capone Beige. The leader was wearing a big cloak, wearing bold and sturdy clothes, carrying a rocket launcher, and a female warrior with short black hair, her expression changed. Full of vigilance, he asked angrily, how did you get here? What, Lord Genshin, are they men? Do all men from overseas look like this? It's the first time I've seen it. Amazon lilies are special. Most of the citizens who are not members of the Kuja pirates have never gone to sea. The impression of men is limited to books and the teachings and admonitions of old men. They are ugly, treacherous, greedy, cruel. For a moment, most of the female warriors who had never seen a man in their lives were filled with surprise. While being alert, he stared at Ryoma and Capone Beige outside the gate, full of unspeakable curiosity. A member of the Nine Snakes Pirates, Ryoma was not surprised when he saw the tough female warrior at the head who was carrying a rocket launcher and had a black patterned shirt open. He looked calm and said calmly, let Boa Hancock come to see me. Lord Hancock, you can see him just as long as you want. Hearing the other party's name, he wanted to see Boa Hancock, their emperor of nine snakes. These female warriors were all shocked and angry, glaring angrily. Wait a minute, who are you? At this time, a short, old, wrinkled figure appeared holding a snake staff. She stopped the nine snakes female warriors who were about to attack. He looked at the visitor with surprise. In other words, his eyes were fixed on the leader of the dragon horse and the autumn water on his waist. He simply ignored Capone Beige who was following Ryoma. Full of disbelief, he murmured, it's so similar, how could it be so similar? And that knife, new granny, Ryodin, a combatant of the Nine Snakes Pirates, looked at Gloriosa who was stopping him and others from launching an attack, full of surprise and confusion. I didn't expect that hundreds of years later, there would still be people on this island who would recognize me. Ryoma raised his eyebrows as he stared at Gloriosa, the former emperor of Nine Snakes Island. But what happened to Lord Dragon God? Isn't that the title those guys at Wanokuni enshrined him in? You. Dot are you really Lord Dragon God? Gloriosa's eyes widened. Looking at Ryoma in disbelief, he was a little shocked. What, Lord Dragon God? 
How is that possible? Lord Dragon God was a person from hundreds of years ago. However, they are really similar. It's exactly the same as the statue in the arena. The female warriors of Nine Snakes exploded into flames. Shocked, some couldn't believe it. But as he looked at the majestic Ryoma, he felt more and more familiar with him. Isn't it the only statue of a man in the arena that has stood for hundreds of years and has been enshrined and worshipped by Nine Snakes? Medusa, Observation Hockey Ryoma, who was able to listen to the voices of others, took all the voices of the warriors of Nine Snake Island into his heart. He couldn't help but look complicated, and memories flashed through his eyes. Medusa, Gloriosa was shaken all over. She stared at Ryoma and couldn't help but trembled. Could you, are you really the dragon god? Hundreds of years ago, the Kuja pirates are out plundering. Medusa, the emperor of Hydra at the time, killed a marine rear admiral who coveted her beauty. Unfortunately, that marine rear admiral is the only son of the contemporary marine rear admiral. As a result, the Nine Snakes pirates faced a disaster. The fleet was sent directly by naval headquarters, and even marine admiral personally led the fleet. Although the Nine Snakes Emperor Medusa is not weak in strength and even has the qualifications of a conqueror's, she is still far from a real monster. When the Nine Snakes pirates were in crisis, she was rescued by Ryoma who happened to be passing by. Amazon Lily, it was the first time a man stepped into it. And it was their queen who took the initiative to invite them in. Since Medusa left a statue of me, you should know this sword as the Emperor of Nine Snakes, right? Ryoma directly pushed autumn water horizontally and pulled it out. A cold light shone on the pitch black blade. The red zigzag pattern is dazzling. Yes, since Her Majesty Medusa can. Looking at this black knife that was familiar to her for the first time, Gloriosa thought of something. He murmured in his mouth and chose to believe it. Ryoma's eyes narrowed, foreseeing some scene, and his expression changed. Brush, his body suddenly flashed. Gloriosa was caught in midair before she could dodge. What did you say? Medusa is still alive. Ryoma stared at her and asked in a deep voice, tell me, what is going on? Could it be that she really found the devil fruit that he once mentioned to her? A bold, despicable man who dares to break into Nine Snakes Island to commit murder. Between the electric light and flint. Don't wait for Gloriosa to speak. Inside the city gate, a tall and beautiful figure flashed out. The red Chongsam was noble and beautiful. When she saw Gloriosa being lifted up in the air, she was extremely shocked and angry. Without saying a word, the legs in high heels wrapped around Haki and kicked him hard. Brush, the wind roared loudly, but Ryoma didn't look back. In the blink of an eye, he had already caught the showy leg that was being kicked violently. He didn't even care to appreciate the beautiful scenery under the Chongsam and gave it a rude shake. Boa Hancock was thrown out directly, but she stabilized her figure in midair, and her beautiful figure cracked the ground, ejected, and kicked up hard again. Um, looking at that beautiful figure, Ryoma flashed with surprise. Even armament hockey was useless and kicked out just as violently. Boom, woohoohoo, the powerful air current is constantly impacting and raging, and the ripples are spreading. A Nine Snake Island warrior who was too close, together with Capone Beige, could not react at all, and was blown away by the violent air current. What was shocking was that the two figures confronted each other there. The showy leg that entangled armament hockey was blocked effortlessly by Ryoma. Crack, plop, the violent dark red lightning spread directly, making people horrified. Woohoohoo, woohoohoo, the unparalleled terrifying fluctuations covered a large area at a speed visible to the naked eye. Two completely different aura waves collided there. It was like a large and small shock wave, squeezing and pushing each other there, causing a violent storm. But the gap between the two is just like that between adults and children, they are not on the same level at all. Is that all you have? Ryoma spoke calmly. His eyes suddenly froze, just for a moment. Boa Hancock was released, and the relatively insignificant conqueror's hockey was ruthlessly crushed, completely covered and submerged. Buzz, rumble, a terrifying wave full of domineering and powerful energy immediately enveloped the entire island. The unimaginable, unstoppable conqueror's hockey seemed to freeze the atmosphere. The entire island was shaken so hard that it shook. Not only the citizens of Kuji Island, but also most of the battle-hardened warriors of the Kuji pirates were knocked unconscious. Gulu, the island is shaking, 
Gloriosa, who was caught in midair by Ryoma, was covered in cold sweat, such a powerful conqueror's hockey. The long black hair was stirred up and down, and Boa Hancock's cold and pretty face became solemn with a little shock. Looking at the young and powerful silver white figure in front of him, he never expected that the other person was the same as himself, possessing conqueror's qualifications that could only appear among millions of people. In the past, in the first half of the Grand Line, she had never met anyone with conqueror's hockey like herself. Moreover, it is so terrifyingly strong. Stop it, Hancock, he's not the enemy. Gloriosa hurriedly said loudly, he is Lord Dragon God. If she had some doubts about Ryoma's identity before, now she is certain. Such a powerful conqueror's hockey is exactly the same as Amazon Lily's ancient historical records. Lord Dragon God, Boa Hancock was full of surprise. After staring at Ryoma's face for a while, he showed a look of disbelief, how is that possible with that face? Ryoma reached out with one hand and pressed it directly on Gloriosa's head. In a daze, Gloriosa couldn't help but feel a chill in her heart. I just feel that I have no secrets in front of the other party, and I feel inexplicably uneasy. World government, Ryoma let go of Gloriosa and learned all the reasons. His face was extremely cold and his eyes were cold, revealing endless murderous intent. Brush, an extremely fierce murderous aura emanated from his body. The earth couldn't help but tremble, making a wail like, click, click, click. It was crushed and cracked, and countless pieces of gravel and rubble flew up. It makes people vaguely feel as if they have seen the terrifying scene of a mountain of corpses and a sea of blood. The astonishing murderous aura that materialized made people feel chilly, from head to toe. Not just the aging Gloriosa, Capone Beige. Even in the castle inside his body, Rob Lucci, Hawkins and others who have been paying attention to the outside world, and even the powerful Boa Hancock and Blackbeard, shuddered and couldn't help trembling. At this moment, my body suddenly froze, unable to move, and I was sweating profusely. Looking at Ryoma in horror, he looks like a real god of murder, his murderous aura is so terrifying that it makes people breathless. Lord Dragon God, your majesty Medusa should still be alive. After she abdicated, she left Nine Snakes Island and found the legendary phantom species, bat fruit, and vampire form ability in the new world, and gained immortality. The strength and appearance have not changed for decades, and the strength has long been able to compete with Marine Admiral, known as the Vampire Queen. But one day, because she continued to be the enemy of the world government, Her Majesty Medusa was surrounded and suppressed by Marine's Buster Call. After defeating the Admiral of Naval Headquarters, she was unfortunately arrested by the world government due to exhaustion. Unknown to Ryoma, Ryoma had read his memory through his exaggerated ultimate observation hockey. Gloriosa, who already knew all the truth, hurriedly said to Ryoma, for hundreds of years, the life card she left has never turned into ash. Emperors from past dynasties have been constantly inquiring about her information, and finally confirmed that she has been imprisoned in a deep-sea prison in a frozen state of suspended animation by the world government all these years. The reason why Hancock agreed to become the Seven Warlords of the Sea was to put forward conditions to the world government and get permission to enter Impel Down, to meet the adult imprisoned in ice and confirm her life and death. What? Eternal life? A man who was imprisoned by the world government hundreds of years ago is still alive. Gulu. Does such an exaggerated ability really exist? Capone Beige, Trafalgar Law, Hawkins and others all couldn't help but lost their voices in shock. Some couldn't believe their ears and couldn't calm down. A dragon-slaying warrior is an exaggeration enough. Are there other monsters from hundreds of years ago still alive today? They instantly felt that their understanding of the world was about to be completely overturned. HMPH, the reason why she has been detained in a frozen state of suspended animation until now is because of her ability to make people immortal, right? Phantom beast species, bat fruit, vampire form. Ryoma stood there for a long time, with emotion on his face. I didn't expect that Medusa would actually find the devil fruit that I mentioned to her casually. Back then, when he was staying at Amazon Lily, he accidentally mentioned to Medusa that there should be a devil fruit in this world that could make people immortal. Moreover, I once got some clues about the ability of one of the phantom beasts to rob others of their youth and make themselves younger. But after leaving Amazon Lily and continuing to travel, because he accidentally obtained the Paramisha op-op fruit, 
he gave up looking for the phantom species, bat fruit, and vampire form fruit. It was clear from the beginning with the ultimate ability and function of op op fruit, he returned directly to Wanokuni and found a retainer with considerable talent in medicine to train him. Unexpectedly, after what happened to him, Medusa actually made the decision to step down as emperor and leave nine snakes, and also used the few clues he left behind to find the phantom beast fruit. Brush, the astonishingly substantial murderous aura immediately converged and disappeared. But Boa Hancock, Gloriosa, Capone Beige and others all turned pale and sweated profusely. He looked at the silver-white figure in front of him in awe. Sister, Granny knew. What happened? Just now. Two delicate-looking female warriors with different hair colors had just come out of the city and greeted Boa Hancock and Gloriosa with surprise. Sandersonia, Marigold, why don't you meet the dragon god soon? I was afraid that the two of them would offend Ryoma due to their ignorance. Gloriosa was busy explaining to the two what had just happened. Sandersonia and Marigold were shocked and looked at Ryoma in disbelief, but they naturally felt the terrifying murderous intent just now in the incomparable conqueror's hockey. After recognizing Chu Shui and seeing the appearance of Ryoma, which was indeed no different from the statue, he no longer had any doubts, and bowed to Ryoma cautiously and cautiously, I have met Lord Dragon God. Even Boa Hancock, who had previously taken the initiative to attack Ryoma, could not help but take a deep breath at this time and stepped forward to salute. Although she is arrogant, it does not mean that she is ignorant of current affairs. Ryoma's mere display of momentum had already made her almost unable to move, which shows how terrifying his real strength is. Not to mention, this unfathomable strong man once had a very deep connection with Nine Snake Island and was not an enemy. In particular, the fate of the three sisters has already changed due to the existence of Ryoma. Because Ryoma once asked Medusa to set a special rule, all citizens of Kuji Island under the age of 16 are not allowed to go to sea at will, even if they are taken by the Kuji pirates. They also escaped capture by the slave capture team, and were later purchased by the Celestial Dragons and branded with the slave mark, Hoof of the Celestial Dragon. The three sisters, who grew up in Nine Snakes, are naturally not that extreme in character. For hundreds of years, the vast majority of the warriors on the Nine Snakes Island have deeply worshipped the powerful female emperor since childhood, who once defeated the highest combat power of the naval headquarters and was second to none in the history of the Nine Snakes. They all practice hard with the goal of becoming a strong person like Her Majesty Medusa. Boa Hancock, the new emperor of Nine Snakes, is no exception. Otherwise, as Amazon Lily's new emperor of Nine Snakes, Boa Hancock, even if he had to accept the world government's invitation to become the seven warlords of the sea because of the situation of nine snakes, he would not specifically propose to go to the recommended city to confirm hundreds of people. The conditions under which the nine snakes emperor, vampire queen, Medusa lived and died years ago. No need to be polite. This is not the place to talk. Lord Dragon God, please go to the palace to rest. Boa Hancock, who has long flowing black hair and a beautiful and cold face, said softly. Glancing at Capone Beige who was following Ryoma, he hesitated for a moment but ultimately said nothing. QG Island has had a rule since ancient times that no idle male can enter. Just wait for me here and don't try to cause trouble. Ryoma ordered directly to Capone Beige. When Capone Beige heard this, the corner of his mouth twitched slightly. Cursing in your heart, ordinary men can't enter. You haven't gone in yet. Although he was a little helpless, he naturally would not resist Ryoma's order, and said righteously, Yes, Lord Ryoma, please don't worry. Without Ryoma around, the originally clean, tidy, and orderly castle in his body would be turned into a mess by those unruly guys. Kama, located on the mountain, inside the gorgeous and elegant palace. Ryoma looked at this palace, which although its layout was not much different from hundreds of years ago, had been repaired and rebuilt many times during this period, and felt inexplicable. An imperceptible recollection flashed through his eyes. An incomparably beautiful figure wearing aqua blue chongsam appeared in my mind as if it was the other day. He couldn't help clenching his fists, and his eyes flashed with a cold light. Medusa, I didn't expect that Lord Dragon God, you are still alive. With his jewel-like eyes, he stared at the majestic and young man in front of him, who could not help but be attracted to him. Boa Hancock took a deep breath and said in confusion, but isn't it rumored that you have? Gloriosa, 
Sandersonia, and Marigold are also full of curiosity and confusion. How the Dragon Slaying Samurai, once the greatest swordsman in the world, died, is now known to no one in this sea better than the Nine Snake Islands, except for some long-established families of Wanokuni. Back then, after hearing the bad news, the heartbroken Lord Medusa personally went to Wanokuni to pay homage. It is said that Ryoma's body was intended to be taken away, but for some reason it was not taken away and left there. Facing the dragon horse, Boa Hancock's pet flower python with red and white patterns was trembling. He flattered the long snake body and curled it into the shape of a seat, letting Ryoma sit on it. After I left Kuja, I accidentally obtained Paramisha op op fruit, so I specifically returned to Wanokuni to select a very talented retainer to train. Ryoma sat on the big flowered python Samaro, and said bluntly, the ultimate ability of op op fruit is the immortality surgery that allows people to gain immortality. Op op fruit, ageless surgery, Boa Hancock, Sandersonia and others could not help but shrink their pupils. Gloriosa, who had been to the sea before, suddenly realized, no wonder, over the years, the world government has offered a reward of 5 billion baileys at a sky-high price to acquire op-op fruit. The power of eternal life, what kind of temptation is this? Before I fought against the strong men sent by Marine, I had already undergone the surgery of immortality. Although the power of the cursed fruit was powerful, it could only put me to sleep and could not kill me after all. Ryoma spoke calmly. As he said this, he thought of something. A golden fruit appeared on his hand. He looked at Boa Hancock, the Nine Snakes Emperor, and asked directly, You are not an Esper yet, right? As this, devil fruit, Gloriosa was surprised. Seeing Ryoma asking Hancock this, he naturally guessed what Ryoma was going to do. Busy reminding Hancock who was in a daze for some reason, Hancock, Lord Ryoma is asking you. Ha, huh, yes, I am a non-abled person. Hancock, who was originally sizing up Ryoma and curious about the former world's greatest swordsman, reacted, his face flushed unnaturally, and he nodded slightly. Eat it and go to the moon for me. Ha, huh, go to the moon. Boa Hancock was astonished and looked at Ryoma blankly. Unexpectedly, the other party suddenly took out a devil fruit to make himself a person with abilities. Not only her, but Gloriosa and the others were also shocked. I thought I heard it wrong. Heading to the moon in space. This is simply a fantasy. Ryoma-sama, are you kidding me? What kind of ability is this? Sandersonia asked in disbelief. Logia sparkling fruit, the ability of Admiral Kazaru. Throwing the Logia fruit to Boa Hancock, Ryoma said calmly, not long ago, he was killed by me and his abilities were stripped away. What? Sparkling fruit. Admiral Kazaru's ability. The highest combat power of naval headquarters was killed by you. Hancock, Gloriosa, and Sandersonia couldn't help but shrink their pupils and screamed. Looking at Ryoma, who looked calm and calm, as if he had done something trivial, he couldn't help but take a breath, feeling a little shocked in his heart. In fact, these three days, the sea was already shaking, and the news of the murder of the world's nobles on the Sabayati archipelago spread widely. The news of Admiral Kazaru's death in battle caused a huge shock and stirred up unimaginable waves. Naval headquarters has already been preparing for the war with all its strength, trying to re-establish its prestige by public execution of Fire Fist Ace, and by destroying the Whitebeard Pirates who may attempt to rescue the captain of the Whitebeard Pirates 2nd Division and prevent Marines' execution. Calm down the negative impact of these incidents and deter the forces on the sea that are ready to move. Nine Snake Island is isolated from the outside world, and news birds never fly into the calm belt, so news has always been blocked. Naturally, Boa Hancock and the others have not heard about this matter. How many people on this sea dare to say that they can kill the Marine Admiral who represents the highest combat power of naval headquarters? This lord is indeed as terrifying as the legend says, the majestic Marine Admiral, he will kill him as soon as he says so. After killing Admiral Kazaru, deprived him of his abilities. Doesn't it mean that after a person with abilities dies, his abilities will disappear and appear randomly in a corner of the sea? Um, suddenly, I sensed something. Raising his eyebrows, Ryoma looked towards the sea, interesting. What's wrong, Lord Dragon God? Seeing this, Gloriosa asked in surprise. Marine's warship appeared in the calm belt, and it seems that its target is the Nine Snakes Island. 
Looking at Boa Hancock who took the sparkling fruit and looked at the Logia Devil fruit, with a look of wonder on his beautiful face, Ryoma said nonchalantly, first heard that Marine has decided to take over the captain of the 2nd Division of the Whitebeard Pirates. Fire Fist Ace's public execution will most likely lead to an all-out war with the Whitebeard Pirates, and he will probably issue a mandatory summons from the world government to you, the seven warlords of the sea, to go to Marineford to join the war. Marine is going to war with the Whitebeard Pirates. Hancock couldn't help but be surprised when he heard this. As the captain of the Nine Snakes Pirates and the Emperor of Amazon Lily, she is also one of the seven warlords of the sea among the three Grand Line forces that the world government has painstakingly created to keep pace with the naval headquarters and the New World Four Emperors. Naturally, he is not a novice who doesn't know everything. He still has some understanding of the situation in the sea. Gloriosa, Sandersonia and others couldn't help but change their colors. Everyone on the sea knows what the Whitebeard Pirates mean. The legendary king of the sea, one of the New World Four Emperors, Whitebeard, Edward Newgate, is known as the man closest to the throne. Rumor has it that Whitebeard is recognized as the world's strongest man and has the power to destroy the world. I heard that no matter who hurts the comrades on the Whitebeard Pirates' ship, they will not end well and will be endlessly hunted by the Whitebeard Pirates. Naval headquarters decided to publicly execute Fire Fist, Ace, the captain of the Whitebeard Pirates 2nd Division, which shows their determination. Unexpectedly, the world government, which is trying so hard to maintain the balance of the three major forces of the Grand Line, can actually make up its mind to go to war with the Whitebeard Pirates. How about it? If you don't want to become an esper, there's nothing. Ryoma looked at Boa Hancock with a smile and had no intention of forcing him. He just couldn't find a more suitable candidate for the time being, and he wanted to catch someone hiding on the moon who had the ability of Logia Thunder Fruit. Moreover, Hancock has good abilities. As a holder of Conqueror's qualifications, he has great potential. In terms of Taijutsu and Hockey, they have not yet truly reached their limits and there is room for continued improvement. If you become a user with the ability of Logia Sparkling Fruit, as long as you are willing to put in enough effort in the next two or three years, have his teachings, and experience more practical training, you may not have no hope of becoming a monster in the shortest possible time. The Strong One This is the huge increase brought by the Devil Fruit ability of a top-level Logia. Of course, more importantly, Boa Hancock himself also has considerable qualifications. No, I want to become a capable person. Boa Hancock didn't hesitate. He opened his teeth directly and took a bite of the sparkling fruit. But the next moment, the complexion is green and red. Covering her mouth, she almost wanted to spit it out. It tastes really bad. She rushed directly to the rooftop, retched for a moment, and then said with lingering fear. Looking at the remaining fruit with convex spiral patterns in his hand, and even the flesh with strange patterns, his beautiful and delicate face was full of tangles. This devil fruit is definitely the most disgusting thing in the world. It only takes a small sip. There will be no other effect if you eat more. Seeing Boa Hancock being so entangled, Ryoma couldn't help but smile lightly. That's good. Hancock decisively threw away the remaining fruit. Sister Sama, what do you think? Nothing has changed. After feeling himself carefully, Hancock shook his head. Putting one hand on his head and pillowing Sumero's snake head, Ryoma chuckled and said, Don't worry, I believe you will be able to feel the changes in your body soon. With the ultra-high speed given by this Logia ability, and your own strength foundation, as long as you are a little familiar with the ability, there should be no problem in going to the moon. Lord Dragon God, Lord Hancock, Lord Dragon God. Hancock was about to ask Ryoma what he wanted to do with going to the moon when he was interrupted. A combatant from the Nine Snakes Pirates ran over, saluted Hancock, Ryoma and others, and loudly shouted, Marine's warship appeared a few nautical miles away, signaling for us to negotiate. Chapter 41 Brush Over the palace, golden light flashed. Bang! Above the mountain, a huge rock was easily kicked apart. Smoke and dust filled the air, rocks spattered, and a large amount of gravel rolled down. The dazzling light makes it impossible to look directly at it. More than 10 meters away, they condensed into a beautiful and cold figure. The huge movement made many citizens look up subconsciously, and they were all a little shocked, that's Lord Hancock. Looking at that dazzling, beautiful, 
goddess-like figure, I couldn't help but feel awe in my heart. Some female warriors and citizens were filled with admiration and fanaticism, shouting, Lord Hancock. What a speed. I can't react at all. Is this the ability that Onisama has gained? Gloriosa, Sandersonia, Marigold and others were stunned. I'm really surprised to have such ability. Hancock will undoubtedly become more powerful, and will also have the ability to fly. Even if you become a landlubber and have to be rejected by the sea, there is nothing to regret. Not bad. In such a short period of time, I have initially mastered the basic abilities of sparkling fruit. The dragon and horse standing on the eaves, with flying silver hair and elegant robes, nodded with a smile, not stingy with his praise. That stalwart figure and handsome face made Boa Hancock feel slightly absent-minded. Sir Ryoma, thank you. This kind of Logia ability is really valuable. Hancock naturally knew that such a fruit was of a measurable value, and looked at Ryoma with gratitude and respect. Thinking of Ryoma's previous words, he couldn't help but curiously asked, But, you said earlier that you wanted me to go to the moon. What exactly do you need me to do for you? When I was in the Sabayati archipelago, I used observation hockey to search the memories of the Straw Hat crew. I learned that when they were on Sky Island, they fought against a Logia Thunder Fruit ability user named Enel. That guy probably used his his ability has reached the moon. When you have time, search the moon and bring him back to me. Ryoma smiled directly and said, Of course, don't worry about this. After all, the moon is not small, and you need a lot of luck to find it in a short time. Logia Thunder Fruit, its power is beyond doubt. To a certain extent, it is still based on the sparkling fruit he gave to Boa Hancock. Check the memory. Sure enough, Gloriosa suddenly realized and was even more frightened. This Lord Dragon God is really so powerful that it makes people tremble. Observation Hockey actually exaggerated it to such an extent. It's incredible, but now you should go and solve the trouble on Marine's side. He glanced at the docked sea in the distance, where he was negotiating with the Nine Snakes pirates under the banner of the Seven Warlords of the Sea, asking to see Boa Hancock, the Marine warship of the Seven Warlords of the Sea. HMPH, those guys, let them all stay here to feed the Sea Kings. Noticing the warships on the sea, Hancock's eyes turned cold. She couldn't help but snorted as she had no good feelings towards Marine and world government. Lord Dragon God, can Hancock decide whether to join the war on the condition that he enters the deep sea prison, impel down, and meets Lord Medusa again, so as to create an opportunity to enter the prison to save people? Gloriosa proposed to Ryoma. Since Lord Ryoma is still alive, he will never let Medusa be imprisoned and impel down by the world government, and he must rescue her at all costs. Don't worry about Medusa. Although the deep sea prison is close to Marineford, Marine will be able to send people over soon, but this time the war between them and the Whitebeard Pirates is an opportunity. The identity of Fire Fist Ace it's unusual. Maybe the Red Hair Pirates or even the Roger Pirates, which had been secretly disbanded, may appear. Then they will definitely not be distracted. Of course, even without this war, I am sure to rescue her. Sitting on the eaves, overlooking the entire neat and orderly town where nine snakes were lined up, Ryoma spoke calmly. The world's largest deep-sea prison, known as the Iron Wall, is not taken seriously at all. Medusa is different from Gloriosa, who abandoned her people and left. She left with peace of mind after cultivating a new successor. When Ryoma was stranded on Kuji Island, he was respected by the Amazon and Lily by virtue of his strong strength and his relationship with the Kuji pirates. Therefore, Medusa, who left Amazon Lily for Ryoma, has always been respected by the Nine Snakes, and based on her strong strength and legendary experience, she is deeply worshipped and respected by countless citizens. Then I, Hancock frowned, he hated world government and wished that naval headquarters would suffer heavy losses. Naturally, he would not be kind enough to join the war against the Whitebeard pirates for their sake. She wanted to refuse the call of world government. But now that Marine has mastered new technology, warships can now freely enter and leave the dangerous calm belt, the nest of the Sea Kings. If they refuse the world government's call, Marine will surely settle the score. The structure of the world is about to undergo earth-shaking changes. You might as well agree to their request first, and then use your sparkling fruit ability on the battlefield to help me weaken the world government. Ryoma narrowed his eyes and said with a faint smile, As for the safety of nine snakes, 
you don't have to worry, I have my own way to keep Amazon and Lily safe. Unfortunately, he came from Porosalino's memory. Learn the whereabouts of the flying pirate, Golden Lion. The general location of the guy was basically confirmed, not far from the comm belt. This is why he didn't change his itinerary before and came to Amazon Lily first. On the vast sea, the huge warship is lying there. Roar, a huge black shadow, a sea king's that was more than a hundred meters long and extremely ferocious emerged from the bottom of the sea. The sharp teeth were ferocious, biting the warship fiercely. Ah, it's sea kings. Hey, is this too big? Some marines were so frightened by the sudden change that their faces turned pale and they broke out in cold sweat. Even marines' warships use new technology, and the bottom of the ship is inlaid with sea stone, allowing the entire warship to radiate the energy of the sea, and can avoid being attacked by sea kings to a considerable extent. But it is still dangerous to stay in the calm belt, which is the lair of the large sea kings, for a long time. Brush, at this time, a figure wearing marine's cloak of justice rushed directly into sea king's body. Flying squirrel vice admiral, seeing this scene, most of the marines screamed. But the next moment, exaggerated blood splattered. The huge sea kings were disemboweled. The heavy body hit the sea hard, causing huge waves in the supposedly calm calm belt. The flying squirrel ran out on the moonwalk and landed on the warship. A red pirate ship, pulled there by two poisonous sea snakes, slowly came from Nine Snake Island. Where is Boa Hancock? Please come out. The flying squirrel looked solemn and spoke directly to the pirate ship opposite in a deep voice. This time, Naval Headquarters is determined to publicly execute Fire Fist Ace, the captain of the second division of the Whitebeard Pirates. It is very likely that there will be an all-out war with the Whitebeard Pirates. Naturally, the seven warlords of the sea sequence will be recruited as a combat force. Even if these guys are not expected to go all out, in the eyes of most pirates, the so-called Shichibukai are just lackeys raised by the world government, and they will still be classified into the world government camp. If these guys are placed in front of the marines, they will definitely bear the brunt of the attack by the pirates of the Whitebeard Pirates. Even if we encounter the worst possible outcome, let alone if these guys don't work hard and are just pretending to be a formality, they can't stand by and watch the whole process, unless they don't want to be the seven warlords of the sea. At least it can contain many captains of the Whitebeard Pirates or those captain-level figures under their command. Ease the pressure on Marine to a certain extent. Especially when he was halfway there, bad news came from naval headquarters. Hundreds of years ago, the dragon-slaying warrior known as, the world's greatest swordsman, was probably resurrected. Not only did he kill the world's nobles on the Sabayati archipelago, Admiral Kazaru also died because of it. It's unbelievable. Many marines felt uneasy, hesitant, and confused, and their morale suffered an unprecedented blow. It is even more necessary to use seven warlords of the sea to boost one's own morale. Master Hancock is not someone you can meet whenever you want. If you have anything to say to us, we will tell you. On the bow of the pirate ship, Marigold has not become obese. On the contrary, she is extremely slim and has a delicate appearance. Marigold said lightly. The world government has decided to publicly execute Fire Fist Ace, the leader of the Whitebeard Pirates 2nd Division. The execution will take place in Marineford. At that time, naval headquarters may have a full-scale war with the Whitebeard Pirates. Looking at Marigold and recognizing that she was Boa Hancock's sister, the flying squirrel directly said in a deep voice, the world government has issued a compulsory summons order for the seven warlords of the sea to join the war. Yeah, the tall and beautiful figure stepped out. It made those marines' hearts beat wildly, their eyes redden, and they couldn't help but swallow their saliva. Gulu, so beautiful, so beautiful, so dazzling. Is this the Empress Boa Hancock from Seven Warlords of the Sea? Even without the bonus of the sweet fruit's ability and charm, the already beautiful Boa Hancock is not the fat and ugly girl from East Blue who changed drastically after eating the Paramecia slippery fruit. The thief is still a top beauty no less than the legendary mermaid princess. Naturally, these marines are deeply attracted to them. In the strictly disciplined marine, life is boring on weekdays. They are either undergoing high-intensity training, sailing on the sea with warships, or fighting against vicious pirates. They basically cannot touch women. Soldiers. What if I say no? Staring at the naval headquarters vice-admiral opposite with a punk head and mustache. 
After stepping on the head of the poisonous sea snake and coming to the side of the warship, Boa Hancock looked down at the flying squirrel with a cold face. If you refuse to go to Marineford to participate in the war, your title of seven warlords of the sea will be revoked. As the veteran vice admiral of naval headquarters, Flying Squirrel also has a tough attitude. Even when facing the seven warlords of the sea, who is known as the Empress and the most beautiful woman in the world, she is not willing to show weakness. Looking directly at Boa Hancock, he said threateningly, You should know that Marine warships have been able to freely shuttle through the calm belt. It's not that they can't get close to Amazon Lily like before, but because the world government and you, the seven warlords of according to the agreement between the sea and the sea, our marine warships are not allowed to approach the offshore waters of Kuja Island. Presumptuous, Boa Hancock's face turned cold. With a direct look in his eyes, the extremely violent conqueror's hockey was suddenly released. Buzz, buzz, invisible waves struck, and Marine on the opposite warship turned his eyes white and fell down one after another with, thump, thump. Lost consciousness, on the entire battleship, not one person can retain consciousness. It's scary and makes you sweat. Conqueror's hockey. I almost lost consciousness, except for the naval headquarters Vice Admiral Flying Squirrel himself and the two Marine Rear Admirals, they can directly resist the intimidation of Kamui brought by this terrifying Conqueror's hockey. There were also several Commodores who were staggering, unsteady on their feet, covered in cold sweat, and almost fell down. Speaking of which, if you are unfortunately shipwrecked in the calm belt, it has nothing to do with me, right? Hancock sneered as he slightly raised the corners of his mouth, looking down at the flying squirrel and the others. Boa Hancock, I admit that you are indeed very strong, and you can even keep us here. The flying squirrel, with a slight sweat on his forehead, clenched his fists and fixed his eyes firmly on the beautiful Boa Hancock. Withstanding the pressure, he gritted his teeth and said loudly, but no matter what, this time the world government's compulsory order cannot be refused. Do you want to retain the status of seven warlords of the sea, or refuse to participate in the war and be removed from the seven warlords? After the warlords of the sea are removed from the list, Nine Snake Island will inevitably face pressure from the marine fleet. Choose one of the two. We will wait for you here for three days. Whether you refuse after three days or we can no longer report to naval headquarters, you will be directly removed from the seven warlords of the sea sequence. Then just wait. The huge sea serpent spit out snake messages there. Carrying the noble and beautiful figure of Boa Hancock, he returned to the pirate ship of the Nine Snakes Pirates. Wearing high heels, Boa Hancock walked straight to the cabin without looking back. Boa Hancock couldn't help but snorted in his heart without even looking at Flying Squirrel and the others. Three days, it was enough for her to silently become familiar with Logia Sparkling Fruit's abilities on Nine Snake Island. When the time comes, there will be plenty of opportunities to slowly settle accounts with Marine. Nine Snake Island, located in the palace on the mountain. With that exaggerated observation hockey, Ryoma, who was paying attention to this scene, smiled lightly. As a veteran vice admiral in naval headquarters who has experienced hundreds of battles and has rich experience, Flying Squirrel is not weak in strength. But the three sisters Boa and Hancock were not captured by the slave team. Hancock, who possesses Conqueror's qualifications, is not bad at talent. He has been practicing hard on Nine Snakes over the years, and he also practiced on the cruel beast island of Ruskaj. Without the ability of Paramecia Sweetfruit to rely on, I would undoubtedly have to put in more effort and blood and sweat on weekdays. Both hockey's cultivation and physical skills are remarkable. Putting aside the increase in Devil Fruit's abilities, her physical skills in hockey are much better than those of her original trajectory. In front of him, who was once the greatest swordsman in the world, it was nothing. After all, even Blackbeard Marshal D. Teach, who was as powerful as the one who once left several vicious claw marks on the left eye of the young red-haired Shanks, was easily crushed and killed instantly. However, even without the devil fruit ability, Hancock's physical skills and hockey training alone are enough to easily defeat the ordinary naval headquarters vice admiral. Now, I got Logia sparkling fruit. Once he gets a little familiar with sparkling fruit's abilities, and with his tips, his combat power will undoubtedly be improved. After all, the original Marine Admiral Porosalino had already developed the ability of sparkling fruit quite well. With such a template to learn from, Boa Hancock can undoubtedly save a lot of time and energy. 
Lord Dragon God, what's next? Gloriosa asked for instructions. I have to go directly to East Blue, which is expected to take a few days. Once Hancock is familiar with Sparkling Fruit's abilities, he can just follow Marine and set off without waiting for me. As for my subordinates, just let them stay on standby outside the city. I will restrain them before leaving. To be honest, the location of the Deep Sea Prison is not difficult for Ryoma to find. Through the memory of that guy in Porosalino, he was able to determine the general direction of the three major institutions, Naval Headquarters, Eni's Lobby, and Impel Down. He only needed to follow the giant vortex current to reach Impel Down directly and accurately. After all, the Door of Justice is so conspicuous. As for whether the Door of Justice is open, that is not a question at all. However, that will have to wait until he takes care of that guy Golden Lion Shaki. Paramecia Lion Fruit such a strategically valuable devil fruit, it would be such a waste to leave it in the hands of a stupid, late-minded guy with a completely broken brain. Comma, three days passed in a hurry. And this time, East Blue, adjacent to the Calm Belt, is in a dangerous and unusual sea area. There are a large number of reefs and even vortex currents here. If a passing ship is not careful, the ship will be destroyed and people will be killed. Even the warships of the naval headquarters dare not pass here. Rumor has it that dozens or hundreds of ships and warships disappear from here every year. Thousands of meters in the air. Huge islands one after another are suspended there. It was indescribably shocking. If they hadn't seen it with their own eyes, I'm afraid no one would have thought of it. Golden Lion Shiki, who once dominated the world and was the first flying pirate in 800 years to successfully escape from Impel Down, the world's largest deep sea prison with iron walls, will hide here. A silver figure rushed across the sea. Shocking and inexplicable. Is it here? Even if I know the general location, it's still easy for me to find. Looking up at the floating island group, Ryoma, who had entered East Blue at some point, said with a sneer. Crash, on the originally turbulent sea. Without any warning, it transformed into a giant Uzumaki, seemingly trying to swallow everything. The diameter was originally only tens of meters, but it expanded to more than hundreds of meters in the blink of an eye, and it was still changing at a speed visible to the naked eye. It's scary and makes you sweat. Ryoma, who was looking at the floating islands in the sky and was about to be sucked into the giant vortex current, looked calm and calm as usual. There was no intention of pulling out the sword at his waist. The palm of his right hand made a knife shape and struck directly. Kai. The dazzling brilliance overwhelmed the light. It's impossible to look straight at. Boom, the terrifying light blue slash split hundreds of kilometers of sea into two in the blink of an eye. The huge vortex current was cut off directly, and the waves rolled and boiled there. Wow, the exaggerated current faults and shocking incisions are shocking and inexplicable. It slowly closed at a speed visible to the naked eye. Pa, pa, he stepped hard. The sea exploded and water splashed. Ryoma stepped on the atmosphere his whole life and soared into the sky. At an incredible speed, he ran towards the floating sky islands above. Moonwalk, such an advanced physical skill that is simply unbelievable in the eyes of ordinary people, has no secrets at all in front of a strong man like him. It's easy to master. At this time, Calm Belt is not very far from Nine Snake Island. Inside the beast island called Ruskana. Brush, in the dark forest. The dazzling golden light kept shining. It's so dazzling that people can't open their eyes and can't look directly. A golden ray of light swept over like lightning. The beautiful right leg kicked out violently. Boom, the boulder about 10 meters high was easily kicked to pieces. The next moment, rumble, the blazing golden light, like a golden top, kept sweeping past. It's so terrifyingly fast that people can't react at all. A large area was completely destroyed. Rock sputtered and smoke filled the air. Makes you sweat. The fiery figures gathered together and turned into a beautiful figure. Black hair was flying, and Boa Hancock slowly fell from the air. Slender white fingers reached out. Whoosh, the brilliance bloomed. An extremely dazzling laser beam struck out like lightning. It hit the forest ahead. It was precise and hit the heart of a big tree. Boom boom, the loud noise shook the sky. The extremely high temperature directly vaporized large areas of surrounding material, triggering a violent explosion. The heat wave was rolling, and the huge explosion ring kept expanding. 
Every female warrior of the Nine Snakes Fighting Nation basically has good archery skills and can skillfully use powers like hockey. She has been training hard since she was a child, and the Empress Boa Hancock, who stood out from Amazon Lily's large number of female warriors, is naturally not bad at archery. A laser beam is equivalent to an arrow without a bow. The accuracy of shooting is not too difficult for Boa Hancock at all. Who? Ho! This island is full of dangerous beasts. All the beasts were frightened, trembling, and fled in panic. Brush! The golden figure flashed. In an instant, he appeared dozens of meters away. The beautiful and slender right leg shone brightly and was kicked hard from the air. Call out! Between the electric light and flint. A blazing laser beam, several times larger than an ordinary laser, shot out. Flooded the forest ahead. Rumble. Along with the violent explosion, a blazing heat wave rolled in. It was in disarray and littered with rubble. Call. The golden figures gathered together and turned into the beautiful and cold figure of Boa Hancock, which stayed in midair. It's been three days. Although it's still far from what that adult expected, it can only be done to this extent in a short period of time. She didn't feel so disappointed. Her beautiful eyes looked toward the sea, and the corners of her bright red lips slightly raised. I'm really looking forward to what kind of expression those marines will have when they see their abilities on the battlefield. The next moment, it turned into a galloping golden light and rushed towards the direction of Nine Snakes Island. Comma, east blue, within a certain sea area. Huge island groups flowed in the sky, shrouded in clouds and mist, like holy lands in myths and legends. Full of visual impact, extremely shocking. Such a big movement from Ryoma had naturally attracted attention. On the top floating sky island, there is a huge monitoring room. A tall golden figure stood there. The lower limbs turned out to be prosthetic limbs, with two swords fixed on them, shining with cold light, replacing the legs. Wearing a loose golden striped samurai uniform, his long golden hair almost fell to the ground, and there was a boat rudder on his head, which was quite funny. Madara's old face shows that he is no longer young, but his whole person is still full of wild and unruly aura. It is said that twenty years ago, he cut off his own legs in order to escape from the deep sea prison, escaped from Impel Down, and disappeared from sight for the next twenty years. Gulu. No way. Hiss. He cut off the giant vortex current so easily. Who is this guy? Is it sent by the world government or naval headquarters? Golden Lion stared at the silver-white figure that was constantly flying into the air on the surveillance screen. He raised his eyebrows in surprise and couldn't help but laugh and said, I didn't expect that in this era, there would be such an amazing guy, so young. Gia ha ha ha. It is incredible to have such strength at such an age. No, Master Shiki, he is not from this era. Dr. Indigo, a tall man with blue comb hair and a long scarf, walked over. The footsteps made strange, puff, sounds, which made people speechless. He handed a brand new newspaper to Golden Lion Shiki and said in a deep voice, he is the former dragon-slaying warrior Shimotsuki Ryoma. A few days ago at Sabayati Archipelago, he not only commanded his subordinates to blatantly kill the world's nobles, but also the naval headquarters. Admiral Kazaru was killed by him, which caused a huge sensation on the sea. Even the world government, in order to maintain its own prestige, tried its best to suppress the news and minimize the impact. But Sabayati Archipelago, as a transit point to the Fishmen Island, is also the only place to go to the New World. It gathers informants from all parties, including countless news agencies. After all, it is impossible to suppress such a big incident. In three days, the news had already spread and the whole sea was in an uproar. As the descendants of the twenty kings who originally founded the world government, they enjoy the highest privileges, and the marine admiral can defend the world nobles with all their strength just by being offended, but they are actually killed on the Sabayati archipelago. What is even more unbelievable is that Shimotsuki Ryoma, the once famous, dragon-slaying samurai, who has been dead for hundreds of years, has come back to life. Moreover, admiral, who is usually boasted almost like a monster and represents the highest combat power of naval headquarters, was actually killed by Sabayati Archipelago, who can be said to be on the doorstep. This is shocking news. Like a bombshell, most people in the sea couldn't even believe it. It even made all forces look at him with suspicion. There are also many careerists who covet the secret of Ryoma's resurrection, or immortality, and are ready to take action. 
But even if the world government is currently mobilizing all the power of Cypher Pole, it can't find any trace of Ryoma, let alone them. A monster from hundreds of years ago is actually resurrected. There were a few wrinkles on his forehead, and the somewhat old golden lion stood up directly with a cigar in his mouth, full of wild momentum and power without being angry. If there was no rudder on his head, coupled with his exaggerated blonde hair and mane and the golden beard on his chin, making him look a bit like a golden rooster, he might be more majestic. What is shocking is that all of his legs below the knees have been severed. There were two sharp long swords tied to it, which were used to walk instead of legs, making bursts of harsh sounds when walking. Gia ha ha ha, no guests for a long time. Looking at the majestic figure in the surveillance camera who was about to walk on the moonwalk to the island below, Golden Lion couldn't help laughing, he actually killed that slippery monkey in naval headquarters. What a great job. The world's greatest swordsman in the past, such a big man should be greeted in person. The silver-white figure continued to soar through the atmosphere. When Ryoma had just landed on a small island at the bottom of the floating Sky Island group, he was floating there as if there was no gravity. There is no need to go to the main island in the center, which is guarded like a moon by stars. There was already a wild golden figure falling from the sky. Gia ha ha ha, splitting the giant vortex current with one strike. It is indeed the monster that made a big fuss in the Sabayati archipelago, the former world's greatest swordsman, dragon-slaying samurai, Shimotsuki Ryoma. Golden Lion bit his cigar and stared at the visitor, already recognizing Ryoma's identity. But beneath the hearty smile, there was a hint of gloom and vigilance, and even more of a deep fear. It seems you recognize me. Looking at the aging and no longer ambitious golden lion in front of him, Ryoma looked indifferent and said, Very good, it saves the time to introduce myself. I wonder what you, Mr. Longma, do when you come to my place. Golden lion Shiki squinted his eyes and asked with a smile. If such a monster is not necessary, his strength is declining day by day, and he who has long since reached his peak is naturally unwilling to offend him easily. It's simple, surrender to me. Ryoma's hawk-like sharp eyes, which made people dare not look at each other, looked directly at Golden Lion Shiki, whose expression changed and became gloomy, and said calmly, however, I don't think you can surrender obediently, right? In order to prevent the lion from being too stubborn and committing suicide after being defeated. He didn't explicitly say that he wanted to take away the opponent's ability. Of course, if Golden Lion Shiki can surrender to him. It's much more cost-effective than recultivating a lion fruit user. The opponent's legs and the rudder on his head are not a problem for Trafalgar Law's op-op fruit. You want me to surrender? Gia ha ha ha. Golden Lion Shiki laughed in anger. His eyes instantly became extremely dark, and he looked directly at Ryoma coldly, who do you think I am? Lousy as a golden lion. Before he finished speaking, he became murderous. His right leg suddenly kicked out and he responded directly with action. Kai, Sakura Ten, who was fixed on it, cut open the atmosphere in an instant. The dazzling blazing slash directly tore the earth apart. He struck hard at the former world's greatest swordsman in front of him. Kang, the black knife is unsheathed. He stood directly there, blocking the sudden attack and the extremely sharp slash. But on the blade, there was a pitch black blade with red serrated patterns. It is obviously just showing the appearance of the first form, autumn water. Woo hoo hoo. The wind is raging, her long silver hair is flying, and her robes are fluttering. Looking at the golden lion in front of him, Ryoma's eyes were disdainful and full of sarcasm, and he said indifferently, without its fangs and claws, how much attack power can an old lion have? Humph, I really dare to say it. Golden Lion Shiki was extremely gloomy, looking directly at Ryoma coldly. His right hand is palm up. He bent his fingers upward and shook them suddenly, Lion Majesty, Earth Coiling. Rumble. Suddenly, the huge island roared. Ho ho. The earth is rolling wildly and squirming. In an instant, it turned into several huge lion heads. As if there is a real sense of life, shouting up to the sky there, which is indescribably shocking. The sky suddenly became dark. Rumble. Several huge lion heads were like hills, closing together and crushing them, extremely ferocious. It bit directly towards Ryoma. The terrifying bloody mouth came with a fierce bite. Is this the ability of your lion fruit? It's really good. 
Ryoma looked directly at the fierce and outrageous lion heads that were about to drown and bury him. His face was calm and collected. Kai, in an instant, a blazing and dazzling slash flashed past. It has already split open the extremely exaggerated lion rock, which is crushing from all directions, leaving no life and making people despair. Rumble, the huge mountain suddenly disintegrated. He fell there, with rocks rolling and smoke flying. Gia ha ha ha, you are indeed the world's greatest swordsman in the past. Golden Lion Shaki laughed, relying on the power of lion fruit, his whole body continued to float upwards, keeping distance from Ryoma. He is no longer at his peak, so he can only rely on lion fruit's abilities. Naturally, he would not be stupid enough to engage in close combat with the other party. Thousand Slice Valley. At the same time, his legs kept kicking hard. Sakura Ten and Mokuru's two famous swords can't help but cut through the air. Dozens and hundreds of astonishing slashes were extremely fierce and dense, pouring towards the dragon and horse. Slash wave. Ryoma looked calm. The dark blade suddenly swung. Kai, the dazzling light blue light made it impossible to look directly at it. The huge, blazing slash was extremely thick. Directly shattered the intensive bombardment of slashes. It has the same name as Golden Lion Shiki's sword move. But the power between the two. Very different. See it. Golden Lion Shiki's pupils shrank and his expression darkened. The right hand is about to be grasped again. But at this time, Ryoma, who was holding a black sword and Chu Shui, had already locked his sharp gaze directly on him in the sky. An extremely fierce energy made Golden Lion Shiki's hair stand on end and his expression change. The whole person suddenly retreated in the air at the same time. Without hesitation, he clenched his fist hard. Rumble. The ground rumbled and trembled, and everything was overturned. Let Ryoma be buried directly. Brush. Between the electric light and flint. The silver-white figure disappeared instantly. Faintly, there seemed to be a fascinating cold light flashing through. The next moment, the whole person has appeared in the air. The stalwart figure slowly fell. The closed eyes opened directly with a cold gaze, Shimotsuki-style swallow tail slash. Kang, the pitch black blade with a red zigzag pattern returned to its sheath slowly. Ryoma put away his sword and stood up. His figure is proud and majestic, awe-inspiring and cannot be underestimated. And Golden Lion Shaki seemed to be standing there frozen. Time seems to have stopped. Ah, a scream. Golden Lion Shiki's chest was spattered with blood and he fell from midair. It fell there, stirring up a large amount of smoke and dust. Is this the extent of the great pirate that he once was? Disappointment flashed in his eyes. Ryoma turned around and looked down indifferently at the Golden Lion lying there, covered in blood. You are old, Golden Lion. The wind blew wildly, silver hair flying, hunting robes. The tall figure of the dragon horse looks majestic and majestic, making people awe-inspiring. There he looked down at the golden lion, who was no longer in his prime and might not be able to reach 30% of his peak strength. He was easily defeated by him. Here the others disdain. Golden lion Shaki, who was covered in blood and lying there in a big letter shape, was not upset either. Seeing death as if he were home, he laughed boldly there, Gia ha ha ha, I didn't expect that before Lousy died, he could personally learn the swordsmanship of Shimotsuki Ryoma, the former world's greatest swordsman and dragon-slaying warrior. It's not a loss. But in the depths of those eyes that were not cloudy, unwillingness and bitterness clearly flashed through. He is a golden lion. That roaring golden lion. Even if he died, he would rather die in a glorious battle. Instead of being so late and being easily crushed by others. Just now, it wasn't a battle at all, but, a humiliation of naked fruit. Very unwilling, aren't you? With the powerful observation hockey, Golden Lion Shiki's thoughts are revealed in Ryoma's heart. He was in no hurry to take action. I have an op-op fruit ability user in my hand. Looking at Golden Lion, he pointed at the rudder on his head and his legs, and said, Golden Lion, you are smart, you should know that this is what does it mean to you. Just like that, you want me to surrender. Golden Lion Shiki's eyes flickered and he spoke with a sneer. Unmoved, even if the broken leg is restored, and the rudder is taken off. As he gets older and lags behind, his physical fitness and other aspects, coupled with the hidden injuries accumulated over the years, have already declined comprehensively. How much strength can he exert? Then, what if we add, 
Restoration of Youth. Ryoma spoke calmly. Golden Lion Shiki's pupils shrank sharply and his whole body was shaken. He stared at Ryoma in front of him with a look of disbelief, what did you say? Devil Fruit's ability is something that surpasses human intelligence. It may be impossible for others, but it is not difficult for me. Ryoma shrugged indifferently. For others, it is indeed impossible. But he knows much more about Devil Fruit than others. For example, Paramisha Healing Fruit. In addition to Op Op Fruit's ultimate ability, Ageless Surgery, the Healing Fruit also has its own ultimate ability, Restore, which can restore everything to its original state, whether organic or inorganic. Theoretically, it has the same effect as the Paramisha Age Fruit, and can also make people younger. Looking down at Golden Lion Shiki who clenched his fists tightly and had a gloomy expression, he said calmly, the former Golden Lion Shiki was also a great pirate who was famous for an era, but what about you now? The sun is declining and we are old. After all, we are no match for the power of time. The lion that once swallowed up the world has now become a sick cat without fangs and sharp teeth. Are you really willing to let your life end like this? Shiki, following me is your only way out. Ryoma's words were like a knife, piercing Golden Lion Shiki's heart. Make him confused, unwilling and angry. But deep down, I was struggling even more. Are you really willing to let it end like this? If there was a chance to regain his youth, would he really rather maintain his integrity than give up such an opportunity? All the struggles gradually turned into determination. After all, his golden lion is not willing to end in such a gloomy manner, and he must not fall into obscurity in front of the ears like this. Are you telling the truth? Golden Lion Shiki stared at Ryoma with burning eyes. Isn't my existence a real example? Ryoma looked at him quietly and said bluntly, in the final analysis, surrendering to the strong is not a shame. If you can really defeat me sometime, I will give you your freedom. I am not worried about whether this cunning lion will play any tricks. How could he make such a promise so easily if he didn't have the means to restrain the other party and firmly control him? Gia ha ha ha, this fate is pitying me. Do you want to give me a chance to be reborn? Golden Lion Shaki laughed. He looked at Ryoma, gritted his teeth and said, Okay, as long as you can restore my youth, I, Golden Lion Shaki, am willing to follow you. Challenge Ryoma, of course. He is a Golden Lion. How could you be willing to be inferior to others? Thinking of being able to regain his youth, Golden Lion's dormant ambition seemed to be rekindled for a while. The whole person seems to have really changed and become different from before. Although he still fell there in such a mess. But the momentum was faintly stronger. Twenty years just to tinker with these things is a waste of time. What if you directly destroy East Blue? Can you still force the world government to surrender to you? Ryoma glanced at the huge and ferocious ferocious beasts on the island, but they were all shivering at the moment and did not dare to approach them at all. I have to admit that the research results of this guy who has been dormant for 20 years are still somewhat remarkable. If these ferocious beasts could be tamed, they would be a good help, but their purpose was speechless. After Golden Lion escaped from prison, he came to an island called Vilmio, and found that there were many animals on the island that became violent after eating plants containing IQ. So he used his own ability to pull the entire island into the sky and move it as his own floating island. From then on, he named the floating island, Strong World. For 20 years, he hid his whereabouts and studied it with his trusted deputy Dr. Indigo. IQ. Desperately trying to liberate these animals into the East Blue and let them wreak havoc, showing his power of revenge to the world government. But in fact, even if such a strategy can bring some trouble to the world government, it cannot shake the rule of this behemoth at all. Ryoma rudely belittled Golden Lion Shiki's efforts over the years is worthless, when you have that time, instead of recruiting soldiers and horses to expand your strength, you can even just follow the records in the Devil Fruit Illustrated book and try to find those things that can make you the Devil Fruit ability to recover from a broken leg is even stronger than this. The point is, you can do both at the same time. Golden Lion Shiki himself is not a scientist, so he naturally does not need to invest much energy in it responsible for research in this area. It seems to be his scientist named Dr. Indigo. To some extent, it was indeed a waste of 20 years. When Golden Lion's face turned blue and purple, he had to refute the other party. However, 
he noticed that the beasts did not dare to approach based on their instincts and the power of the dragon and horse, so he had to swallow his rebuttal. Looking at the majestic figure in front of him who is too young, exudes endless vitality and makes people awe-inspiring. Thinking that he had committed suicide and went to naval headquarters for the sake of Roger who just died, and was imprisoned for two years. After breaking off his legs and successfully escaping from prison, he was wasted for twenty years. Golden Lion suddenly felt that his behavior was really childish and ridiculous. Gia ha ha ha, maybe. When Ryoma entered East Blue and followed some clues from Porosalino's memory, he found Golden Lion Shiki's lair and easily crushed Golden Lion Shiki. After several days of fermentation, the world government can no longer suppress what happened on the Sabayati archipelago. Rumors spread and the sea was in an uproar. He even had to suppress the heat of Marine's public execution of Fire Fist, Ace for a while. The whole sea was boiling. The world's greatest swordsman hundreds of years ago is still alive. The first half of the Grand Line. In a very ordinary town. In recent years, Dracul Mahawk, known as the world's greatest swordsman, held a newspaper in his hand with a strange look on his face. But he immediately showed his fighting spirit. Is Shimotsuki Ryoma, the former dragon-slaying samurai, really so strong? He knew the strength of Marine Admiral Kazaru very well. Especially the ability of Logia Sparkling Fruit, which represents the speed of ultimate. Often the opponent is hit hard by Porosalino before he can react. Unexpectedly, one of the most powerful warriors in the naval headquarters would die at the hands of Ryoma, which is really unbelievable. At least, although Hawkeye was confident that he would not lose to Kazaru, he asked himself that he would never be able to directly kill Porosalino. Unless Kazaru, that slippery, unpredictable guy, fights to the death. But it would probably take days and nights of fierce fighting to determine the winner. All along, whenever I hear the name of the legendary, dragon-slaying samurai, Shimotsuki Ryoma, I can't help but recognize that he stands at the top of swordsmen and is the well-deserved world's greatest swordsman. Now, a character who was thought to have been dead for hundreds of years and reduced to legend has suddenly come back to life. Mahawk, the newly promoted, world's greatest swordsman, if he wants to deserve his title, he must defeat this former legend. It's not just a question of the title of the world's greatest swordsman. He even wanted to confirm how far away he was from the other party. Hawkeye, Dracula Mahawk, on the town's harbor. A large warship docked there. The flag belonging to Marine flutters in the wind and makes a hunting sound. A naval headquarters vice admiral wearing a Marine justice cloak came over with people. I understand why you are here, let's go. Hawkeye looked calm, as if he had expected it. He stood up and grabbed the gorgeous black knife next to him, put it behind his back, and walked out. The naval headquarters mobilized elites and even summoned the seven warlords of the sea. In all likelihood, there will be an unimaginable battle with the Whitebeard pirates. He felt that the dragon-slaying warrior would not miss such a grand occasion. Perhaps, there will be a chance to meet on the battlefield. Comma, new world, in some unknown sea area. Several huge, beluga-shaped pirate ships are undergoing coating operations. A skull flag with a crescent moon-shaped whitebeard is extremely eye-catching. It is announced that this is the pirate ship of the whitebeard pirates. La la la, Shimotsuki Ryoma, the dragon-slaying samurai from hundreds of years ago, the world's greatest swordsman from Wanokuni, unexpectedly came back to life. What a great job! The legendary king of the sea, the man closest to the throne, Whitebeard Edward Newgate Bold and Grandiose sat there, grabbing a huge wine jar, and kept pouring it into his mouth. Whitebeard, with its two arms in the shape of a crescent moon, is particularly eye-catching. There are shocking scars on his tall and muscular body, silently telling of his past glory. Even though he is already old, even with an infusion tube and a ventilator, that stalwart figure still puts pressure on people and makes people dare not despise him. Lord Dragon God, wearing a pink kimono and heart-shaped lipstick on his lips, the man dressed as a geisha was full of excitement and even more unbelievable, I didn't expect him to be resurrected. Surprisingly, he is the captain of the 16th Division of the Whitebeard Pirates, Izo from the Wanokuni Suzugo area. For him, who was born in Wanokuni, Shimotsuki Ryoma, the dragon-slaying samurai, who was worshipped and worshipped by the whole country after his death, can be described as a godlike existence. 
I never expected that the legendary Wanokuni patron saint would come back to life after being rumored to have been dead for hundreds of years. It's incredible. Not only did he directly instruct his subordinates to kill those celestial dragons on the spot, but he also directly killed Admiral Kazaru of Naval Headquarters. He is worthy of being a legendary figure. The captain of the Whitebeard Pirates, the pineapple-headed, Phoenix, Marco, said with a chuckle. He was secretly relieved. The death of one of Naval Headquarters' top combatants is undoubtedly good news for them. In this way, when the Whitebeard Pirates rescue Ace, the pressure they face will be much easier. It is said that he has never been defeated in his life. Any enemy, no matter how powerful, will be cut down in the blink of an eye. Foil Bista, the captain of the 5th Division, held the two swords at his waist tightly, his eyes filled with awe-inspiring passion, dragon-slaying samurai, I really want to see his unfathomable swordsmanship. As a swordsman, how lucky would it be to be able to fight against the dragon-slaying warrior of the past? It has nothing to do with the outcome, just to witness the opponent's miraculous swordsmanship that is recognized as standing at the top of the world. Dad, that guy Kaido of the Beasts is ready to make a move. The captain of the 7th Division, Lakoyo, who had dark blonde messy hair, a mustache, and a turban, looked at Whitebeard on the main seat and said in a deep voice, I'm afraid he will take the opportunity to attack us. Don't worry about him. Throwing away the empty wine jar, Whitebeard wiped the wine stains from the corners of his mouth carelessly, and said calmly, if it were at the beginning, maybe he could really cause us some trouble, but now that guy Kaido is probably restless. Let's not talk about what he turned Wanokuni into. I heard that the Shimotsuki clan in the Suzugo area was wiped out by him and Shogun Orochi. Izo clenched his fists, his eyes red, and said bitterly. For this reason alone, I believe that Lord Ryoma will not be able to spare him. He was also a retainer of Kazuki Odin, the original Shogun of the Kazuki clan and the Lord of Kuri. But later he stayed with the Whitebeard pirates and did not follow Kazuki Odin aboard the Roger pirates' ship. We have already heard about what happened in Wanokuni. He wished he could kill Orochi, the general who colluded with Kaido of the beasts and harmed Wanokuni, but in the end he was powerless. Twenty years ago, Whitebeard had an ominous premonition when he heard that the beasts' pirates had colluded with Wanokuni's general Orochi to occupy Wanokuni. He also sent someone to contact Kazuki Odin, who was the captain of the second division of the Whitebeard pirates and had a deep friendship with him, expressing his willingness to take action if necessary. It's a pity that Lord Odin stubbornly refused Whitebeard's help for some unknown reason and missed the opportunity to eliminate Kaido of the Beasts. Now Kaido of the Beasts has completely grown up. Together with Whitebeard, he is one of the four emperors of the New World. He is also known as, the strongest creature in the sea, land and air, and is an unkillable monster. Even if their father Whitebeard is willing to take action and directly fight Kaido of the Beasts. I'm afraid that the other four emperors are afraid of the Whitebeard pirates trying to dominate the New World, so they may not stand by and watch the Beast's pirates be defeated by the Whitebeard pirates. But now, things are different. That Ryujin-sama was from the Shimotsuki clan, and was even the heir to the daimyo of the Suzugo region. There was no way he could spare the Shogun Orochi and Kaido of the Beasts who destroyed his family. Only Izo, who comes from Wanokuni, has a deep understanding of what the name, Dragon slaying samurai, Shimotsuki Ryoma actually means in Wanokuni. It's incomprehensible to outsiders. Shimotsuki Ryoma is the patron saint of Wanokuni that has been worshipped and worshipped by the whole country for hundreds of years. Even every year, the general will lead the daimyo and ministers from various places to the ancestral temple to worship devoutly. Not to mention its own overwhelming strength, with its name that has long been deified in Wanokuni. As long as they raise their arms, Wanokuni and his subordinates may immediately rise up, and maybe even the samurai under General Orochi will betray him directly. As Whitebeard said, Kaido of the Beasts really can't care about the Whitebeard pirates at the moment. A freezing winter island covered in ice and snow. Inside a huge disc-shaped castle. Gurgling. A huge figure with horns and a fierce face, like a beast from the wild, sat there, grabbing a huge wine gourd and gulping down wine. The ferocious and terrifying aura, like a beast, puts pressure on people, making them awe and inexplicable. What bullshit is the world's greatest swordsman? The ferocious Kaido of the beast suddenly became ferocious and said angrily, a dead man from hundreds of years ago has to jump out to join in the fun at this time. 
but his words were full of irritability and anger, and there was a hint of fear. When the Moria pirates were defeated just after Wanokuni Suzu, I heard that the body of the dragon-slaying samurai and the enshrined national treasure Shisui were stolen, but I didn't pay much attention at that time. He never expected that the former dragon-slaying warrior would actually come back from the dead. Just as they were preparing to gather their strength to attack the Whitebeard pirates and seize the opportunity, such bad news came. How can he not be angry? Kaido of the beasts are no fools. Although he had failed time and time again, challenged the naval headquarters and the other four emperors on his own many times, and was defeated and captured and sentenced to death, this was all because the other party could not kill him. And the forces under his own command were among these failures. There is no loss at all. He said he would not lose the battle, but of course he would not underestimate the legendary world's greatest swordsman. In recent years, Dracul Mahawk, who has been called the greatest swordsman in the world, once competed with the red-haired Shanks before his arm was broken off. Rumor has it that the duel between the two was evenly matched. If yesterday, a person's name, the shadow of a tree, not to mention, even Admiral of Headquarters Kazaru was beheaded by Ryoma in the Sabayati Archipelago at Marine's doorstep. Its strength can be seen as a madara, making him inevitably a little irritable. It's not that they're afraid of the opponent, it's just that they don't want Beast's pirates to lose too much strength just for the sake of a mere dragon. I heard that Admiral Kazaru was killed by him, and it was in the Sabayati Archipelago which is quite close to the naval headquarters. One of the Beast's pirates' pirates was covered in cold sweat and said worriedly, Master Kaido, if these news are passed back to Wanokuni, General Orochi will be restless. Moreover, the prophecy made by Kazuki, the wife of Kazuki Odin, before her death seems to be coming true. Another member of the Beast's pirates looked at Kaido of the Beasts who was drinking alone and reminded him carefully, you and General Orochi killed the Shimotsuki Ashimaru clan who led the resistance and turned Suzugo into a ruins. General Wanokuni Orochi is timid and incompetent, and the Beast's pirates have long been known to everyone. The wife of Kazuki Odin, the daimyo of Kuri, left a few prophecies before her death, and that guy is scared to this day. He is suspicious all day long and becomes nervous at the slightest sign of trouble. However, it seems that the prophecy was made when Kazuki Odin's wife Kazuki. It is very likely that it will actually come true. The ghosts of the past will return and slay the dragon again. Undead, isn't that the dragon-slaying warrior, who has been dead for hundreds of years, suddenly reappeared on the sea and made such a big fuss? The naval headquarters' highest combat force, Admiral Kazaru, was killed. This shows the terrifying strength of the opponent. In all these years, have you ever heard of an admiral of headquarters being killed? Thinking of this, they couldn't help but feel a little uneasy and broke into cold sweat. The prophecy when Kazuki, Kaido of the beasts drank heavily and burped. Ha, huh, he looked over with bloodshot and ferocious eyes. The two pirates turned pale, sweated, and shivered. You're a good-for-nothing guy, so what? Boom. The hurricane roared. A huge mace was swung over hard. The terrifying power made the two pirates scream and crash through the thick wall, fly into the sky and disappear. Looking at the newspaper that fell at his feet, he stared at the figure who was too young to be true, but could not be despised. He stepped on it hard, causing the ground to collapse and smoke to fill the air. The whole castle trembled. HMPH, what about the former world's greatest swordsman? The extremely tall body exuded a ferocious aura, looking up to the sky like a ferocious beast and roaring, bullshit dragon slaying warrior, an outdated old immortal, it is no longer his time. Can he really kill Lousy? Comma, new world, first half. On the undulating sea, a medium-sized pirate ship moved slowly. On the pirate flag hanging on the mast, there is a skull with two thigh bones intertwined, and on either side are the patterns of two swords. If Marine were here, he would definitely recognize him at first sight. This is the pirate ship of the Kuina Pirates, which has become famous in recent years. A. The dragon-slaying warrior is your ancestor. Wow, that's amazing. But Kuina, aren't you from East Blue? On a pirate ship, all crew members are female. There were not many people, only about ten or so. But at this moment, these female pirates with different shapes and powerful auras all looked stunned and inexplicably shocked. Some looked at the leader in disbelief the beautiful swordsman with short short hair and a delicate appearance that could not be underestimated. My grandfather, 
long ago left Wanokuni and came to the East Blue and settled. Kuina held a newspaper in her hand and stared at it without blinking. The majestic silver figure in the photo responded casually, and I am just a side branch, not a descendant of Shimotsuki Ryoma. This Shimotsuki is said to have been forged by Ryoma-sama back then. She grabbed a gorgeous sword with a white scabbard and put it aside. Staring at this legendary Shimotsuki sword, it was forged by the dragon-slaying samurai Ryoma himself and is rumored to be even more famous than the black sword Shisui. His eyes revealed a fiery fighting spirit, full of determination and perseverance. There is no such thing as women being inherently inferior to men. She, Kuina, must become the world's greatest swordsman and prove her father, Shimotsuki Koshiro, wrong. Calm Belt, Nine Snake Island. One day ago, Boa Hancock had already boarded Marine's warship and set off for naval headquarters Marineford. The two sisters, Sandersonia and Marigold, stayed behind at Amazon Lily. Grandma Niu, it seems that Lord Ryoma's subordinates are all weak. On top of the towering city gate, with the Nine Snakes pirates and the Protectorate warriors, they were always vigilantly staring at Rob Lucci, Trafalgar Law, DJ Yinapu, and Magician Hawkins who came out of Capone Bedge's body to breathe, buggies, Lafit et al. Watching these fierce-looking and vicious guys with cold eyes, they had a dispute with each other because of a disagreement, and started fighting directly on the coast. The overall strength is passable though. But it is clear that he has not even mastered observation hockey and armament hockey. The strength of these guys is not that good. Sandersonia said to Gloriosa, who was looking carefully at a newspaper she got from Marine a few days ago, not even hockey. Indeed, how could Lord Ryoma accept such a guy as a subordinate? Marigold frowned. I have a bad impression of people like Capone Beige, Hawkins, and Buggies. And they think that their strength is too weak and they are not worthy of following that adult. Having grown up in Nine Snakes since childhood, as Boa Hancock's right-hand man, the two sisters are not weak in strength. Not only has he mastered the two-color hockey, but his physical skills are also good, so he naturally looks down on Buggy, Monker Rouge and others. Of course, they lacked some training after all, and they didn't know that the devil fruit abilities of Trafalgar Law and others were weirder than the last. In a real life and death showdown, a little carelessness may directly determine the outcome. These guys are not simple, don't underestimate them. Gloriosa put away the newspaper, stared at Rob Lucci and others fighting on the coast, and said in a deep voice, several of them are this year's rising pirate stars, with a bounty of over 100 million. The other group of people are former members of the secret cipher PulseP9 directly under the world government and are wanted by the world government. There are also a group of newly promoted members of the seven warlords of the Sea Blackbeard pirate group. There is no news on Nine Snake Island, and information is hard to come by. Every time the Nine Snakes pirates brought back a newspaper from an expedition, she would read it carefully and carefully analyze the situation. As the Amazon Lily Emperor, Boa Hancock has reached a high position at a young age. It is inevitable that she is too arrogant and arrogant about her own strength. She, the previous emperor, is needed to make suggestions and act as a military advisor. Through the newspaper she just got from Marine, Gloriosa already has a general understanding of the identities of Blackbeard, Rob Lucci, Capone Beige, Hawkins and others. Sandersonia, Marigold, don't look down on these people just because you think they don't know how to hockey. Gloriosa had a serious face and warned, although their current strength is mediocre, their potential is not small. It won't be long before their strength will catch up like a rocket. She said, pointing to the coast. At some point, Blackbeard was sitting on a large wheelchair. His face was so fierce and ugly that it could scare the children to stop crying. His eyes showed fear, especially the one who was cut off. The two-legged Blackbeard, Marshal D. Teach, directly captured Ace, the captain of the second division of the Whitebeard Pirates, and presented it to Marine as a gift, thereby replacing, Sand Crocodile, Crocodile on the Seven Warlords the Throne of the Sea, the culprit that caused this war. According to the news in the newspaper, this guy was still alive and kicking not long ago. It seems that, if nothing unexpected happens, was that lord the one who cut off Blackbeard's legs? Ah, that's, did I read that correctly? Grandma knew, this is. Flying Island, Gulu, no way, at this time. Small black dots appeared in the sky. It attracted the attention of many citizens. 
Even the CP9 members led by Rob Lucci, who were arguing on the coast, stopped fighting with the weird monk Rouge and others and looked over subconsciously. I couldn't help but my pupils shrank sharply and my mouth opened wide. Ha! Dot ha! Huge floating sky islands flew in from high altitudes one after another. Full of visual impact and indescribable shock. Who has this ability? Could it be that? Golden Lion Shiki, Blackbeard, Rob Lucci, Gloriosa and other knowledgeable people couldn't help but shrink their eyes and screamed. He stared closely at the floating islands. The hair on my hair stood up, and I became a little uneasy. Not long. The huge island is getting closer. It lies directly on the offshore coast of Nine Snake Island. Gia ha ha ha, is this the legendary Daughter's Island in the Calm Belt? Although I've heard of it before, this is the first time I've been here. Golden Lion Shaki bit her cigar, her tall figure flying in the air, there overlooking Nine Snake Island. Come with me, don't scare those beautiful girls. Ryoma's majestic figure appeared beside him. At an astonishing speed, he ran through the atmosphere towards the coast below. What a pity, Golden Lion Shiki shrugged, as if there was no gravity, the whole person followed Ryoma and flew towards Nine Snakes Island. But the rudder stuck on the head and the double swords fixed on the legs make people feel conspicuous no matter how they look at it. It's Lord Ryoma, following him is Golden Lion Shiki. When Ryoma returned with Golden Lion, everyone on Nine Snake Island, including Capone Beige, Blackbeard, Rob Lucci and others, were shocked. No one expected that Ryoma said he wanted to leave. He actually brought back this legendary flying pirate who had disappeared for 20 years. In the castle inside Capone Beige, watching Golden Lion Shiki covered in blood lying on the operating table, letting Trafalgar Law operate on him there. As the boss of the West Blue Mafia, Capone Beige is naturally not short of money. In the castle, there are also all kinds of advanced precision surgical equipment. Sir Ryoma, the rudder has been inserted into his head for too long. It has already bonded with blood vessels and nerves. If you are not careful, it may damage the brain, and it may even affect his normal thinking. Facing the legendary Golden Lion, even without the fangs and sharp teeth, Trafalgar Law still has a lot of pressure. Turning to face Ryoma on the opposite side, he spoke in a deep voice. Gia ha ha ha, you guessed it right, this piece of shit has a great influence on Lousy. The Golden Lion laughed boldly there and admitted it generously. Over the years, my thinking has often been confused, and I'm about to become Alzheimer's. He sighed and said helplessly, because of this ghost thing, Lousy doesn't even dare to use hockey easily, and as he gets older, the strength has declined drastically. Looking at Trafalgar Law, Golden Lion said with an open-minded smile as if he didn't care, boy, just do it with confidence and boldness. Don't feel any pressure. If even the legendary doctor can turn a doctor with less talent into a world-famous doctor, Opfruit's abilities can't separate this thing, so my life will probably end here. Don't worry, the owner of Golden Lion will have no problem detaching the rudder and installing new limbs for you. Trafalgar Law speaks out. Such an operation is actually not very difficult for him with his op op fruit ability. Over the years, Golden Lion Shiki has successively captured many powerful cipher pull agents and marine generals, and imprisoned them in his home prison. I've already asked Dr. Indigo to bring him down. For him, the new limbs to be replaced are naturally those that undergo high-intensity training all year round. The higher the intensity, the better. After all, there is a huge gap between a guy who is too weak in physical skills and a truly strong person in terms of muscle density or bone hardness. This will inevitably greatly limit his ability to perform, and it will undoubtedly take a lot of time to recover, exercise. Holding her chest, she leaned against the wall casually. Ryoma looked calm and ordered to Luo. Luo, by the way, take care of the hidden wounds left on his body over the years, and try to restore his poor body to the best condition. I'll go out first, Luo stared at the awe-inspiring back. He thought of the order Ryoma had patted him on the shoulder and lowered his head in his ear half an hour ago. Thinking that Ryoma is a monster that has not died for hundreds of years, I couldn't help but make some guesses. This adult actually knows so much about Op Op Fruit's abilities. Could it be that he really? Yes, after giving a slight salute to the departing Ryoma, Luo turned around. Looking at Golden Lion lying on the operating table, he smiled and said, 
I'm sorry, the head of Golden Lion, because the rudder is inserted too deep and involves the brain nerves, you need to be anesthetized before that, and at this time during the process, you may not be able to stay conscious. Gia ha ha ha, just feel free to do what you do. Comma. Lord Ryoma, in the gorgeous hall, seeing Ryoma's tall figure appear. I was initially surprised by the arrival of the Golden Lion, but still can't believe it. Rob Lucci, Hawkins, DJ Yinapu, Jewelry Bonnie, Munker Rouge and others who were whispering there rushed forward to salute. Blackbeard sat in a wheelchair, licking his face and complimenting, Ha ha ha, I didn't expect you, Lord Ryoma, to be able to conquer the Golden Lion. You are truly worthy of being the legendary world's greatest swordsman. Thinking that Golden Lion would have to recuperate his broken limb, he would only be in a wheelchair. He was filled with envy. But now Marshal D. Teach simply does not dare to have any dissatisfaction or negative thoughts in front of Longma. Because this, dragon-slaying samurai, who can directly read other people's brain memories through observation hockey may really have the same exaggerated level of ability to directly listen to other people's voices as the Red Earl, Redfield. I can't help but feel bitter in my heart, what kind of monster is this? It's okay to have such terrifying power, even observation hockey is so powerful. His previous thoughts might have been exposed to Ryoma. If this were the case, Ryoma would never be able to easily let Trafalgar Law, a user with the op op fruit ability, install new limbs on him. You don't have to envy him. As long as you perform well in the future, you won't have no chance. After glancing at Blackbeard who seemed to be resigned to his fate and obeying his orders, Ryoma spoke calmly. Before, I was too arrogant, and I didn't know how high the sky was. I actually wanted to take revenge on you, sir. Please forgive me for my arrogance. In the unbelievable eyes of Rob Lucci, Capone Beige and others. I saw Blackbeard exerting force, and rolled down from the wheelchair like a plop. He knelt there with cold sweat, kowtow, from now on, I, Marshal D. Teach, will resolutely implement all your orders, sir. This guy, Gloriosa, who also entered the castle, shrank her pupils. In addition to being disdainful, I felt a little frightened by Blackbeard's forbearance. Such people are certainly despising, but their character is truly terrifying and frightening. Then it depends on your performance. Ryoma was noncommittal. Cruel, forbearing, rash, conceited. In order to realize their ambitions, they are willing to bend and stretch, and do whatever it takes. But sometimes he is so greedy for life and afraid of death that he can even put down his dignity and beg for mercy. This is Blackbeard, when you think you can't resist, you will surrender decisively and even stay calm. But when he sees an opportunity, he will show off his hidden fangs and sharp teeth without mercy. It's not that such people cannot be used. It depends on how to use it. Available, but not trustworthy. To a certain extent, the same goes for that guy from Golden Lion. From the beginning, he had not expected Blackbeard to remain in his service. Instead, they directly use the other party as a tool for plundering ability. Yes yes, Blackbeard had no dignity as a strong man, so he nodded and bowed in response, ha ha ha, Lord Ryoma, just watch my performance. Ignoring the disdainful looks from Lu Chi, Khalifa, Jewelry Bonnie, Munker Rouge, Magician Hawkins and others. On board the Moby Dick of the Whitebeard Pirates, he kept a low profile for more than 20 years, but just when he was about to accept his fate and give up, God sent the Logia dark fruit he dreamed of. Even if he can't be the number one in the world and succumbs to the dragon and horse, what if he is the number two in the world? Nothing is better than being used and discarded directly. Of course he was unwilling to give up his ambitions and dreams just like that. Buzz. Time passes bit by bit. Everyone was there waiting patiently. A few hours later, Luo, who was a little tired after overusing Op Op Fruit's ability, walked out of the operating room first. Lord Ryoma, this is what you ordered before. Rob Lucci and Blackbeard handed a black box to Ryoma in their surprised eyes. An astonishing conqueror's hockey suddenly washed away from the castle in Capone Beige's body. The subordinates of Capone Beige, Trafalgar Law and others, as well as the weak female nine snake warriors from the outside world, were attacked one after another and fell unconscious. Gia ha ha ha, I, the golden lion, am back. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.